Good evening, morning, whatever it is where you all are, and welcome to another episode of Looking for Legends, where we get nerdy, throw math rocks, and look for legends. Um, <clears throat> once again, we'd just like to, uh, in the spirit of welcoming you, uh, ask that you note that our content may include some fantasy violence, social adversity, and possibly some adult themes as part of the storytelling. The characters, events, and settings are purely fictitious, and any resemblance to actual persons, living or dead, or to real-world events is coincidental and unintentional. Viewer discretion is advised, as some themes may not be suitable for all audiences. Uh, by continuing with us, we ask that you accept these elements and join us in the community and game we love. Thank you guys for being a part of our legendary journey. Does anybody else have anything to say before we jump into it? Where's Grace? Where'd Grace go? Where's Grace? Whoa! Hey! Grand entrance. Boom, grand entrance. <laughs> well, she's going to be doing our recap, so I, I, I brought her in late. Or at least that's what I'm Whoa. saying, because uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I just I just forgot. <laughs> The, the uh, here. I didn't. I just didn't see her there in the, in the lobby waiting. So, I, no, no, no. It was planned, guys. It was, it was absolutely planned. planned. The whole time. The whole time. Um. All right. Oh, puppy. Hi, puppy. So, oh, hi, puppy. Which puppy is that? This, that's Athena. What? Athena. Hello, Athena. That ain't no puppy. That's a uh, Yeah, it's, That's it's true. Cuddly little um, <clears throat> Anybody? Announcements? Things to add? Anything that you all want to say before we start? Oh, I have another stream that I am on. On Mr. Yes. Dandy DM's channel on YouTube. Call it uh, Our Flag Means Doom. There's a shit ton of chaos over there, and it's a really great crew, too. <laughs> Excellent. Oh. I've seen it. It's yeah. it's a romping good time. It's yeah. baller. It's baller. Absolutely. We love pirates. Yeah. Uh, Highly recommend you, you guys uh, check them out as well. All right. If nothing else, then <clears throat> let's uh, let's have a recap in the form of Daisy's journal. <clears throat> Dear diary, I have lapsed for the past few days, but I now have a moment to sit down and write again because we. Anyanwu and I are stranded on a lifeboat in the middle of the ocean towing a ton of grain. Crazy, I know. See, Ani and I took an odd job as we do from a somewhat shady guy in a somewhat shady place to protect some precious cargo, but it went kind of sideways. Like the ship, the ship went kind of sideways because just two days after we set sail, we were attacked by another ship. Uh, now, as you know, I am not super good at like the one on one combat. I was brought onto this mission as like the ambassador, guest relations, good vibes, personality hire. Uh, but luckily, someone thought ahead, so we did have some muscle. And uh, this hobgoblin alchemist guy, Scorn, he came up with this ingenious plan to hide us in this giant smoke bomb and then blow up the other ship. But uh, it didn't work. So when the attackers started boarding, this like literal knight in shining armor. Sebastian, I think he's a human. Uh, he looks human, but I mean, some people think I'm human. Anyway, he kicked into gear and he kicked some pirate butt. And then Anaka, the super tall, strong one, she's like crazy fast, like scary fast. And at some point she ran onto the other ship and then back in like five seconds. And then I tried to sink their ship, but my spell didn't work. And then I, I teleported away. And anyway, and Yanru was trying to repair all of like the holes that they blew on our ship. But at that point, I think it was just a little bit too far gone. And then uh, the super, super speedy one, she went and grabbed all the crates that we were supposed to get. And then she tied them all up and put them up on top of the ship. And then we got them all piled onto the lifeboats. And then we all got piled onto the lifeboats. And so after we were floating there for a minute, we decided to crack open the crates. And we all risked our lives for a ton of brain. So these people better be starving. I'm very sunburned. Um, anyway, here we are. Hopefully we can get to shore before we die of dehydration or starvation. <coughs> and I'll write again soon. Yours always, Daisy, the illustrious Silver Rear Siren. Woo! All right. Uh, 
So, <clears throat> as as you all are more or less floating, drifting on the waves, um, I'm gonna need a couple of rolls from you guys. Uh, and I understand there will be um, lots of chatter, most likely, about the, the grain and its implications. But I'm going to need some uh, just a couple of rules to see how you all stay afloat and keep moving toward the mainland. So any roll will do. Uh, I'll need a total of, well, I can't say a total of, uh, but I'll need at least three of those rolls. Uh, so who would like to... Who would like to make a roll? And how are you helping these small rowboats keep moving forward? Can I make a strength check to just power through it? You absolutely can. Cool. <clears throat> this is this a normal strength check or a saving throw by any chance? Uh, are you proficient in athletics? You know what? That's a fair point. Yes, I am. Yeah, go ahead and give me an athletics <laughs> check then. Natural 20 plus 5. Woo! Heck yes. All right, so <clears throat> you definitely have your uh, your first success. Uh, tell me tell me just how Inaka uh, uses her athletic skills to um, keep the boats moving forward. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm imagining on these lifeboats, there's probably two oars on a, in either one. Mm-hmm. So realizing that the boat is really too small to fit her and everybody else, she's kind of squat as low as she can at the very back and is just... <laughs> oh my lord. Excellent. <laughs> I wish I had some like sound effects for that because that <laughs> just keep that going. <laughs> as we're... Oh, man. The, 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 sound effects, <laughs> the sound effects is just the guitar riff from Freebird. That's what that sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that sounds like. Um, excellent. All right. So we have our first success, and Inaka speeds up this uh, this travel by a decent bit, uh, kind of allowing your boat to even forge a, a bit ahead of the other. All right. Who is next? Morning, morning. All right, score. Uh, what I wanted to do was take some of the parts of the sunken ship and kind of put like a wedge in front of all the crates and kind of like lashing all the crates together. So as she's cutting through the water like a rocket, the crates aren't like sinking under and getting tugged. It's just kind of like cutting through the water. So I don't know what kind of check you would want for that for tinkering. Uh, let's do... Slide of hand? I would, I would accept slide of hand. I would even, um, based on what you're telling me that you're trying to do, if even, I would even accept, like, intelligence or something like, a um, uh, an intelligence slide of hand check. Which oh, is I could do intelligence, odd. baby. That's what I could do. I could do with a smile. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so, it's a 17 plus 7. So we are looking at 24, baby. Y'all are killing this. All right. Uh, and again, I'm just going to ask you to kind of like give a little more information on how, how Scorn goes about this. Uh, Scorn's going to jump in the water, making sure there's no like squirmies down there. I mean, I'm, I'm delicious, I've been told. I don't want to get bit. So he's going in the water. He's getting this adhesive goop and he's putting it against the, uh, the crates and he's kind of like making his wedge piece in front, kind of like mm -hmm. making sure nothing's like expanding and contracting. All the pieces are staying together, kind of like a makeshift glue. Keeping them together, putting some tack nails that he could find, putting them in there with his crafting and carpentry kit, getting them all together. And he's like, I think we're good. And then I hop back on the boat and just try to not vomit from all the <laughs> paddling. <laughs> it can all be right. over faster or it can be <laughs> over slower. <laughs> I will say between the two of you all, you make uh, a a fair amount of ground, or rather water, uh, before the evening comes upon you. As it does, 
uh, how are you all preparing to? How are you all preparing for sleep? These are very small boats. They're only made for about five people. Some sitting. rest. Okay. Someone doesn't need to rest. Uh, if anybody wants to, I'm pretty sure we could just shimmy our bodies for warmth since we don't really have anything, like, to cover us with, right? We could just get all nice and close, like, if it gets too cold. Now, that's because, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to freeze. And, uh, I, I didn't bring an undershirt. I, I never do. So... Uh, um, uh, actually, um, I, I might be able to help, and I, you see Anwu just kind of, like, tinker with his, uh, the shattered fragment of the firmament, and he just starts to, like, hum a little bit, and, uh, he's just, like, cozily warm in his, in his big metal suit. Like, um, th this actually gets pretty warm, uh, when, you know, you're out, just kind of, like, walking around, or, like, 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 walking, or just gets you know it gets like warm and so i don't know if like that would help or or anything does, does it help us or just you i'm pretty i'm pretty warm and i'm i'm probably gonna stay in it oh all right i i see what you okay <laughs> i'm so, happy for you but i'm still under the like predicament that i'm in that Zeb, me and you, we're going to the raft. Let these guys spread out in the boat. Me and you, we're going to the, the little makeshift raft that we got back here. Don't oh, worry, I, right. I got the heat for us. Oh, okay. All right. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Daisy yeah. just kind of whispers, I want to say he's being a gentleman, but somehow it doesn't feel like that. Uh. I do not really get cold, so if somebody needs this, and she'll pull her red shawl off <laughs> and holding it up. I'm used to sleeping in uncomfortable situations. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll take that if, if you're just to cover my, my midriff for a little bit, as long as you're willing. Just make sure and give it back. It's fine. I don't oh, get cold. Oh, of course. All right. Yeah. No, it might be a little salty. I, I'll try not to. Take a dip in the ocean, but I, you know, I trust Scorn a little bit with his uh, makeshift, whatever that is. Back well, we're good. I got a little rocket stove I can make for us. We're good to go. All right, thank you, Inaka. I appreciate it. You're welcome, Zed. Yeah, Zed. Zed. You got it. All right. <clears throat> I will say that as you all, uh, as darkness falls over the ocean, um, these are not particularly dangerous waters on this night. Uh, a rest comes to you, and I say rest, it is very chill. Uh, the, the air on the water is biting. And... <clears throat> You find a mechanical rest, though how well you actually sleep is is left to you. Can I uh, use Song of Rest? Absolutely. Awesome. What Song of Rest? It is if you or any, any friendly creatures who can hear your performance regain hit points at the end of the short rest by spending one or more hit dice, each of those creatures regains an extra 1d6 hit points. Dang. Yeah. Uh, out of curiosity, and I don't, I don't want to put you on the spot too much, but uh, oh. what, what would this song of rest be about? Not gonna ask you to sing or anything, but I just you know curious. No, make a sing. Um, make a sing. I think you should sing. I, I actually I think you should sing. <laughs> it is about a <laughs> hobgoblin named Scorn. Um, Go on. Whose this sounds potions, very familiar. <laughs> uh, his potions are so powerful and yet so unpredictable. That's fair. All right. And as as uh, Daisy 
sings this song um, as you all are, are resting and entering into the long rest period. Um, you particularly scorn, but the rest of you also get a, a sense of peace that falls over you. Um, a, a sense of <clears throat> despite the cold, there is some warmth. Uh, and the rest does fall upon you. As you wake the next morning, I will need uh, one more check, presumably. Fingers crossed. Um, who would like to go next, and how are you endeavoring to do this? I think um, Anwu wouldn't want to show it, but he's getting very uncomfortable. He's not used to being around these people. He's not used to being around people for an extended amount of time, especially this cramped. Also, he's been in an iron suit this whole time, <laughs> and he'd like to get out of it, but doesn't feel quite comfortable enough to do that from these folks. So, Anwu knows the limits and bounds of projectile magic. I'm going to see if I can create some sort of booster for a uh, for little boat here and see if we can just motor boat blast away into the, into the rest of our journey because I'm I'm tired of this. <laughs> I want to get off this boat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that seems like Arcana or something else or. Uh yeah, I would say I would say Arcana would work for that. Sweet. All right. So I was uh, I was hung up on a, a little detail there. Is it sad that I wanted to roll low so we get like an Ace Ventura like little fan behind the boat kind of thing? <laughs> <laughs> Now that you guys rolled so well, so now it's time for me to roll really badly. Let's see here. Don't encourage the <clears throat> That's a that's a nat one. Um, that's a nat one. What? That's a nat You're, one. That is you're a natural, joking. A natural one. Feel and the curse. I, I'm looking, I'm looking at, <laughs> I told you not to encourage the dice. <laughs> we just hear a little. I swear. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, fart. I fart. I go to do my magic and I fart all over my skin. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, it, just that little puff of air that doesn't actually get you anywhere. Uh, the the rest of this day uh, is, is mostly taken up with, again, Inaka just powering you all through. Uh <clears throat> In that case, I actually will need another roll because uh, you either got to get three successes or three failures. Uh, I don't know what gets you there, but. Well, I mean, I see Anaka doing hard work. Is there any way that I can give assistance? Maybe, maybe take over. Okay. All right. Sure. Anaka, would you, would you let Zeb take over? I imagine at some point she would probably stop and just, <sighs> and if Zeb walks, uh, like looks at her and goes, you, you, you want me to take a turn? She, you, you want, you, yes, of course, oh, yes. And she starts to try to move a little bit. I imagine she probably falls in the water at some <laughs> point, but she'll just. <laughs> uh, I would, I would like to use Bardic Inspiration on Zeb. Okay. Excellent. Uh, appreciate Excellent. It. How do you inspire Zeb? Um, I do a little cheerleading dance. Yes. But <laughs> the I'm boat on boat, is just so I don't yep. move my feet very much. It's it's a little shuffly, <laughs> and but you know what? It has spirit. It has spirit. It absolutely does. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So and uh, for Zeb. For, for my knowledge, what what kind of check is this? Uh, I would say that is also athletics. That's what I was about to say. Was uh, go ahead and, and make an athletics check. Yeah. And you can add a d six, a d eight. You get to add a d eight after C yeah. depending on whether or not you want to. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna use uh. I'm gonna use one of the luck points. 
Mm. I'm not even uh -oh. gonna tell you what the first one was. Don't you worry. Don't you worry now. This is why I'm. <laughs> Don't you worry now. We had two good ones. Gotta have two. Right. I'll take that Screw. plus plus a D8. You said. Yes, sir. All right, that's a 17. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. A seven with a 17. Uh, you are able to you take Inaka's place and. While not moving quite as fast as she had, uh, you keep things moving at a, a very decent pace. Um, uh, over was, over the, was wasn't able to work out this morning, so this is fine. Absolutely. <laughs> um, it takes about another day, uh, sort of going between you and Anaka, uh, Anyanwu trying to to fart his way <laughs> into, a, into a, a speedboat. Uh, <laughs> I hide. Um, I hide for the rest of the trip. <laughs> Let's just go up and where just are like you hiding? Yeah, I'm how do like, you try no. to hide? Where, where where do you go to hide? I, I'm a roll stealth truck right now. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know where I hide, you know. I, th I think I... I think I'm hiding because I have hidden my head. So, therefore, I'm hidden okay. because I can't see anything. Ah, sticking your head in the sand like an ostrich. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. I got it. I, I, I retreat All into right. my suit like a turtle. Absolutely. A lion turtle. A, a big old turtle. That is what I do. I love that. I love it. <clears throat> All right. Um, so, uh, for... Unfortunately, moving considerably uh, slower than you were setting out, you do within, uh, because of some of those checks that were made, uh, mm. within a relatively short time, only about three days from start to finish, uh, get back to um, uh, Nelser. <clears throat> Your Random. travels have left... Oh, sorry? Random question. Was the uh, were the people that were with us as well in the other boat able to keep up just as well? Not just as well. You lost. If if you are uh, like, I, I will leave this to you all. If you didn't find some way to keep them with you, you would have lost them probably twelve ish hours ago. want to daisy chain them to the raft i was gonna say if i was the one rowing at that point, i wouldn't have been looking back so <laughs> girl uh, chain them to a i don't know <laughs> our job was the boxes not the people a daisy chain, <laughs> <laughs> a chain I, of I multiple just, daisies I feel, I feel like we probably can't leave innocent people floating out at sea not that I have anything to do with whatever James Gorn was talking about, but I don't. I don't kink shame. You do you. <laughs> it's link shame. It's link, link shame. shame. Link shame. Because it's a chain. There's links in it. I almost spit Doctor Pepper on my yeah. keyboard. <laughs> I waited for you to take a drink. <laughs> um, time. I... I, they had a boat just like us, guys. I, I, I think they might be all right. I mean, they, they didn't they're like have pirates. super strong heroes power rowing it across the ocean. I, I don't know. I don't know. The that captain, doesn't... captain was like super strong or whatever. I mean, we were carrying the load. Uh, we, it wasn't carrying the load, right? We so had much. everything. That's yeah, true. We so... weren't carrying the load. Who? They true. were all like demon. They're like crew people on that boat, right? Our job yes, is no. the boxes, not the people. Well, yes. But, um, anyway, I think probably we may not want to leave them stranded, but at the same time, they probably know their way back better than we do. That, yeah, that that's probably true. I should have bought the compass off that crackhead. <laughs> 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 oh my god. He was not a junkie. He told you. 
confused. I, was mm-hmm. <laughs> I did several insight checks saying that that was a reliable kid. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I assume that means you are not daisy chaining the uh, the <laughs> others to you. Okay, excellent. Then, uh, <clears throat> as you you approach uh, where you see the port far off, for hours you've uh, seen the mainland in the distance, but it, you're you're getting closer, and you begin to hear the shouts, the noise of cargo being loaded. Uh, ships setting off from port, watch bells, and waves breaking on the decks of many ships. It does not occur to you until now that these much larger vessels might be dangerous for two, for one small rowboat drifting into harbor. And almost immediately, as this realization hits you, you see a large ship approaching from the south. Where it should be headed towards the port, it is not. It is headed on trajectory to collide head-on with you. Is there anything you'd like to do to prepare for these dangers? <sighs> Go ahead, Scorn. Uh, I would like to toss two cryo bombs in the water to make like a small iceberg to make them kind of get bashed to the side, kind of like divert them a little bit. Kind of like, uh, what was that? Impossibles 2, or Incredibles 2. Oh, ah. okay. A little frozen. <laughs> yeah, oh. absolutely. Um, okay. Do we have a new map? Uh, not as of yet. This is this okay. is just kind of, yeah. <clears throat> not combat, just... No, just... Conflict. Exactly. Conflict. Just, just a little <laughs> bit of danger as you're approaching the port. Okay, so... <clears throat> You throw the the cryo bombs into the water, and they uh, they I was gonna say explode, but not really. They they uh, expand flash into yeah yeah yeah. They flash freeze and expand into uh, small icebergs. Uh, the the ship approaches, and you're you're somewhat surprised as it moves so gracefully on the waters, despite its size. Uh, you see the dawn's light painted in gold on its side it almost almost on a dime begins to stop uh just a few meters between you and the vessel uh it stops as it touches your first iceberg and begins to veer off zeb you would recognize something everyone would see that uh, just a few meters away, this vessel is proudly displaying an intricately carved figurehead of a woman with arms outstretched, a small tree in her grasp. You would recognize this woman immediately and intimately as the goddess Imara. From on deck, you hear a feminine voice echo over you. Climb in, children of the land! As ropes are thrown over the hull. I, I get up. And I'm like, this is the easiest decision I ever made. Scorn, let's go. This, this is this is the right <laughs> way. That, that's my love right there. Oh, oh, hey, kid, hold the hell on. What the hell are these people? Uh, you know, honestly, I don't know. And hey, you I, just want it. We're we're right here. Why the hell don't we all of a sudden? Who well, are what? I don't, huh? I don't, look, I don't know the people, all right, but I know Amara. Okay, I, I know Amara. So if a guy gets a tattoo of Amara right. on his ass, you gonna follow him? No, no, goodness no. Also, if they do that, <laughs> that that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> they think they're anything worth Amara like that? <laughs> no, nope, not here. But you can trust me on this one. And if not, you know I could take them. Oh, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. These are your people. I'm not gonna judge. If you say let's giddy up and go, we're gonna giddy up and go. All right. I'm. Uh, I I start climbing up the ladder absolutely all right uh (laughs) is there any like ropes dangling besides the ladder that we can like lash our crates onto yeah we'll need um yeah they they would have tossed down several ropes um including including a ladder okay i'm going to uh go onto the raft and dissolve the adhesive so they all the crates 
come apart. Sure. Okay. All right. Um, excellent. As you all, I, I, I presume all of you follow Zeb and Scorn on deck. Uh, if 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 Anwu sees Daisy start to climb, I'm gonna grab your arm. Um, I say, um, Daisy, I, I I don't feel good about this. I I don't know what it is. It's just that I feel like we don't know who these people are. I. That's because we this, don't. We don't know who they are. But so so why they have a boat and we have a raft. But we're so close like we're almost there i i just don't think this is a good idea if if you, you go i'll go too but get to the get to the shore on the lifeboat we made it three days on a lifeboat i like what's okay, a couple more, what makes what's, you what's, what's, what's one more hour i i don't know I, we can go i just don't i don't know i just i just don't think it's right i am with the metal man i do not like this whoa Oh, um, sorry, I, I was, I didn't see you there, sorry. I mean, <laughs> okay, I guess it's not that much further. Um, hey, Scorn? A, I also think there's a giant steamboat coming. It sounds like there's a steamboat or some sort of carrier. I'm trying Maybe. to ram us. <laughs> Um, we're going to stay down here with the boxes to get them to shore cuz I don't think we can get them up. Well, we we'll uh, tie tight. We'll tie off and just trail behind with the crates. Ha. She picks up one of the boxes out of the out of the water, ch- chunks it up on the deck. <laughs> we'll stay down here with the rowboat to make I... sure the rowboat is safe. And Anyanwu is your his name? Yes. Uh, yeah. I don't like this either, but if we have to stay crunched in this tiny little rowboat any longer, I may strangle someone. And I don't think you want to have your fancy armor all tarnished, yes? No, no. Don't Listen, worry. Kid, I'll protect you. Listen, on the raft because one of you was smelling kind of ripe. I think we should get up here, wash ourselves off, and call it good. I have trust issues more than anybody, trust me. But here's the thing. It's a boat. I'm getting on it. Zeb pokes his okay. head over the side of the of the ship and goes, Y'all coming? I just can I like can I grab Scorn's arm real quick? <laughs> Sorry. Um how how do we know that they're not going to try to take our cargo? We don't, but Zeb likes them, and I trust Zeb. I'm overruled. Sorry, Ani. Oh, starts climbing. All right. As you all <clears throat> reach the top, uh, you are greeted by a um, Inaka, someone that looks remarkably like you. Uh, you don't see many people that look like you. Sebastian, you would see the vestments of a, a a priest of Imara on this Goliath creature. Um, he steps forward. Um, uh, Sir Lauren Galehart, at your service. And reaches out his hand. Sebastian Cade, a pleasure to meet you. And he'll do the, the warrior clasp. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Now, uh, what has you all uh, floating on the sea as you have been? Uh, I need someone who's better with words. Well, um, our ship sank. <laughs> Thank you. That, well, so... that w- <laughs> couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> <laughs> we were out to sea. That. We were supposed to be making a delivery, and we got attacked. We have no idea who or why. And so we are now headed back to the point of origin, possibly to try again. We don't know. 
What brings your ship out <coughs> here? You just pick up stragglers trying to make their way back into port? Or, I mean, you got good taste in figureheads, of course, and obviously a member of the clergy. It's always beneficial to chit chat with one of you. We are in. We are on our way from. from another place. Sebastian Cade. Um. Ken, and he kind of pulls you aside for just a second and kind of lowers his voice a little bit. What you got? What you got? What's up? Can I trust those here? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, what? It, uh, that's a loaded question. Can you be more specific? We do the work of Imara. Oh, I see you also do. Yeah. Are they to be trusted <laughs> with things of a private, of a sensitive uh, variety? Considering the work that we just almost did, uh, yeah. Don't ask any more questions, please. Very well. <clears throat> We are on our way from the land across the sea, so to speak. And you all know, uh, generally across the sea, it is he's more or less, he's more than likely speaking of uh, Siluria, the the home of the elves. Um, he says, "If you are all trustworthy sorts." Follow me. I'll show you um, to where we do what we do. I, I mean, again, like trustworthy is definitely uh, what? What's the word that I'm looking for here? Sub subjective. Applicable. A pl I mean, that would also work, um, depending on the scenario. And to be fair, though, our ship's ship, sorry, did just go down, and I mean, we survived. I, I think they've, they they have definitely earned a little trust. So, um, very well. Uh, and he just kind of starts walking. Um, he will he will walk below deck. Uh, if anyone follows him, if not, that's totally fine. Uh, I, I will. Be before following, uh, Inaka's going to kind of lean down to whoever's standing next to her, I don't, I don't know. She's not looking at any one person in particular. Daisy, I think. Like, we survived what? The... The, sh the shipwreck. We were... We wrecked the ship? <laughs> okay. Oh, right, right, okay, okay. <laughs> Daisy's just pretty sure she's being messed with. It's just, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... If if Zeb's the only person being trusted on this ship, mm -hmm. I'm going with Zeb. Yeah, I'm going Fair down enough. too. I don't want to be left alone with people I don't know who don't trust me. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> That's fair. Anwu's just going to like trail behind, just trying not to take up space. Trailing behind. You're failing, buddy, but it's okay. <coughs> I'm trying. I'm definitely bumping into stuff. Sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. Can I tinker in here? Sorry, sorry. Do you have a soft <laughs> punch in hand? Yeah. I, I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. It's for tinkering. Sorry. Uh, as you all make your way, following uh, Sil Siloran the Gilhart, um down below deck, you all see... A frightened array of characters. Uh, not frightening, but frightened. Um, that are, are kind of huddled behind crates, um, under tables, uh, generally out of the sight, out of, out of line of sight from most people. Uh, Saloran says... 
It is safe here. Um, you have no reason to hide. The ship stopped, but it was for other rescues. And you see uh, several of them um, begin to come out from their hiding places. These are uh, various various of what might be understood to be the um, uh, less common races or, or lineages in uh, in ethos. These would be things like tieflings, um, uh, Arakakra, uh, Asimar, <clears throat> that gazing upon you seem to <coughs> seem to be satiated, like in, in their curiosity, as well as assuaged in their worry. Saloran turns to you. This is what we do. These have all been rescued from, well, <clears throat> shall we say, those who wish them harm. Where are you taking them? Uh, I, I, sorry, I heard two things at once. What was that? Well, where where are you taking them? Where did they come from? They came from Sil uh, from Siluria. These were, <clears throat> for the most part, victims of the victims of the Arborian wraiths. They are refugees seeking safety in other lands. We bring them to Nelta, to uh, Gerthan. Some wish only to pass through and find the city of the lost, Takakar. Um, would any of us know what the wraiths are? Would any of us do a history check for that? <coughs> Yeah, go ahead and give me a history check. Anyone that would be more prevalent for that, or that's... I, think uh, I mean, not really. I'll, uh, I'll roll for history. All right, go ahead. I, I only got a 16. And as, um, as he yeah, 14. says this, uh, 16, 14... Uh, as he says this, he also um, uh, looks back to Inaka and says, uh, uh, Totikash, I, I'm sorry, my manners have failed me until now. Bless you. Uh, <laughs> Inaka, what languages do you speak? Common and giant. Okay, so uh, you would understand this. Uh, he said um, more or less something to the effect of circle unbroken. Uh, it's, a, it's a greeting in giant. Um, yeah. Well, then she would return that, um, that sentiment, I don't have a a cool catchphrase for it right this yeah. like, <laughs> no you're good just not right now uh, um, <laughs> that no need to worry about manners is not problem i am not usually one that does much of the speaking very well i do i talk i like talking <laughs> i'm sure you do i do not relish speech however in my profession uh, we must learn the art. Uh, that said, at the 16, I would say, <clears throat> sorry, it's just uh, as, as that was on my mind, I wanted to make sure it got said. Uh, the 16, you think you've heard something about uh, 
a pretty radical group called the 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 rates or something uh that was based in Siluria, but you're not really quite sure what exactly they do, who they are, but there's some form of radical group you think. Okay. Uh my other question from earlier is um of the uh people on the boat, are any like injured in any way? Like hurting? <clears throat> By this point, no. Uh you gather several of them probably were, but uh this guy seems to to uh be relative confident in himself and most likely his abilities. He he bears some of the the markings of a, a healer. All right. Now nah, I see. He... You go, go ahead. ahead. Did he specify where they were headed? Are they? <laughs> uh, they were headed into Nelter. Yeah. <clears throat> Nelter. Um, okay. Yeah, which is the port city from whence y'all set up. I, I see that Amara's guidance has been fruitful in your journeys. My question for you now is, is there anything that we can do to help you maybe get to your next point? Or what, what is it that you could use from us? Any Anything? Because we are pretty resourceful. I mean, we did, like I said, we did make it this far. <coughs> um, as for now, I believe it would just... Uh, be most helpful if you all remained below deck uh, as we pass through into the uh, through Nelta customs and uh, we would just prefer only our crew be seen. That's understandable. Daisy shifts to like a, a much much darker <clears throat> shade. <coughs> Does the majority of the crew kind of have somewhat the same type of uniform? Uh, not as not the same as uh, Saloran. Saloran is the priest that was brought along for the journey. Several of the others are wearing much more like work style clothing, uh, <laughs> sailor style clothing. Uh, there is one that, uh, as you um, passed over the deck and went under the deck, you you saw. Um, seemed to be uh, the captain, um, definitely with some of the, the attire that she was wearing, um, a tiefling. Uh, and aside from that, m mostly just the captain and the, the priest are wearing any kind of distinguishing garb. So how would we stand out? Um, not that you would stand out, just that it would be Easier for us to pass through uh, with only the numbers recorded in our manifest. Ah, gotcha. They're not going to try and search anything? Not if all goes according to plan. And uh, it usually uh, does. And not for me, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> it all, that's why I'm here. It always does for me. Now that said, what are we doing with the uh, the stuff that we had? I, I saw you threw down some ropes and stuff, and we were tying things up. Is your crew gonna bring that up? How like where are we putting that? Ah, uh, yes, they should have already brought them up. Uh, we can store it here. We can uh, keep it wherever might seem best to you. I would love it if it was with us. At the, at the very least. Yes, yes, excellent. That uh, then I will have it brought here. And for now, I bid you adieu. Um, we will be sailing into port momentarily. Bless you again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as <coughs> as you or as he leaves, uh, another figure that was kind of with these refugees um, uh, walks up to you. Hey, uh, I um, I couldn't help overhearing that uh, you all were shipwrecked, and uh, it is a um, uh, <coughs> pardon me, it is a 
human, uh, a human woman that seems to be an enterprising sort, uh, sort of quick with the tongue and, and eyes that uh, speak to a sort of perhaps mischief, perhaps cunning, perhaps both. Um, I think as soon as Anwu got down here and saw that there were refugees down here, I think his countenance immediately shifts. And instead of being extremely tense, he's extremely loose and calm. Mm -hmm. And I think he immediately disbands from the group and is going to go just be, be amongst the refugees. Sure. Okay. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And you, you, uh, some of them are, are less trusting of others and some of them definitely are eager to tell their stories and, um, they share openly with you of what has happened to them. You do gather quite a bit about, uh, these Arborean wraiths, uh, specifically they are, they are fear mongering. Um, they're a fear mongering hate group, more or less. They are, they believe, well, to sum it up this way, their motto is uh, all monsters are men. Hmm. Uh, they are specifically hateful toward uh, the lineage of man and uh, m less so, but still notably angry toward any that are not of elven kind. Got you, got you. I think to to gain their trust, <laughs> I'm uh, I'm using my my Omni tool, which I often use to cast spells. Um, I'm using that just to do um, press to digitation or maybe minor illusion, minor illusion, sure. just to, like cast images of you know um, of you know like ships flying through the air or you know different uh, different creatures like running around and floating about, um, just to kind of give a bit of like whimsy and comfort to, to everybody absolutely all right excellent um so as that is going on this um this human refugee uh once again speaks up so uh you're not gonna tell me about it or, or what uh sorry sorry uh uh koskovich at your service and does so she reaches out a hand? Yeah. Who, who I, is she talking to? Uh, generally, any of you. She just kind of, in general, reaches out the hand. Daisy will shake her hand. Okay. Hi. Nice to meet you. And Daisy, um, this is this is the group. This is the party. <coughs> Hi. What? Uh, well met, you guys. Um... So I, I'm sorry. I'm I'm really terribly nosy. I shouldn't be, but I, I have to ask. Uh, I heard there was some um, cargo that went missing. Insight check. Insight check. Roll me insight. Let's go. I freaking love insight checks. That's wild. That is a twelve. I got the exact same role. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm gonna say uh, with a with a twelve. She doesn't seem like malevolent. She she. I mean, she's de she definitely wants to know what's up, but she doesn't seem like there's there's any malintent in what she's doing. Yeah, we had a bit of a mishap at sea, kind of got stranded, so luckily the ship was here to pick us back up and get us the rest of the way to port. Okay, so uh, level with me. I know of some cargo that was supposed to be um, transported, shall we say, uh, to I'm not at liberty Oberyn. to speak about that. So how did you know where our transport was supposed to be going? 
I draw, I draw I my said, sword while smiling. I hold out a bomb. Hey, 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 hey. Listen. The information is very valuable, but information get you fucking killed. Hey, hey. I know because I have friends who might or might not have been the one to send it. Okay. Oh, we really? uh, also know some people who uh, may or may not have been the ones to send it, and they tried to kill us. So, DM, I'm going to go up to her, and I'm going to raise up her left sleeve and see if she has the fang, the hollow fang mark on her arm. Oh, no, 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 no. Not the... No, 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 no. Sorry, you, you're, you're talking about uh, uh, Van Horn. No, that's not, that's not me. I meant the people who sent him. Mm-hmm. Who? And who would that be? She looks around. You uh, seem to know a, a lot. What a refugee's gonna say. Um uh the new republic. Now you know as well as I know that just saying those words could is enough to get me killed to the wrong person. All right, well, keep so, talking. Keep yourself alive in this conversation. Listen, I know that if that cargo is still, shall we say, with you, uh, there are people that would very much like to meet you. That well, seems to be con like a continual thing. Right? We just keep getting introduced. And keep meeting new things. Can you, can you do me a favor and just... Who are the people? Make it plain. Please make it plain. How about... Mm -hmm. look, look, the guy who brought us down here, he was a member of the clergy. I, too, <coughs> believe it or not, am also involved with said clergy. At least the figurehead on the front of the ship. Now, just do me a solid. And just tell me what is on your mind. Okay. There's a place. There's a place. Now, hmm, how can how can I assure that you are trustworthy enough for the information I'm about to give you? <laughs> I don't I mean, know. Roll an insight we, check. We were the ones that did <laughs> <Yeah>. the job. <laughs> Excellent. See, and that that is really the reason why I'm talking to you because wow what chance that I'd be here and you'd be here and I know the people that sent you and can get some connections going for some people that are honest enough to return the goods and or continue their transport uh, you know it's, the it's actually very convenient I'd say it's pretty lucky is what it is and you know me you know me I sheathed my sword. Okay. There's a place. It's Somewhere called the Siren there. Song. Okay? You, are you with me? The Siren Song. It's mm -hmm. a it's a tavern. Like it's it's right next to a um uh it's right next to a, a mercantile store owned by Gideon well Gideon Fulcor. Um uh, underneath the siren on, Underneath the siren song, there is a room, a room where meetings are held, okay? The meetings are held by those, the, um, the, the forerunners, the, the, the pioneers, the founding members of the new republic. They're having a meeting tonight. They expected that you would be on your way to Hilderin, but apparently that has not happened yet. So, <clears throat> meet them there. And, and, and I'm very certain that they would be eager to meet some people with the tenacity and honesty that you have coming back with that here. 
Well, a job's a job, but also, since you know so much, do you know what's <laughs> in it? Not a clue, no. Nice. Wasn't my purview. Can I do an everything else check work. on that, too? <laughs> I don't believe uh, yes. her. <laughs> Ooh. 24. Okay. Uh, she, she does not know what was in the, what was in the crates. Okay. However, with that insight check, you also know she has been honest about everything so far. Mm-hmm. <coughs> you haven't been able to detect a single trace of a lie. Okay. What'd you All say right. your name was again? Uh, Koskovich. Koskovich. Okay, Costco, thank you so much. Gotcha. I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, we'll, um, what what y'all say to taking up on that inside? Um, I I think it's probably our best bet. We don't have anything else to do with these crates, and otherwise, we are, um, well, we have failed. Is there extra money in this? I think it's a redo about maybe getting back to the right course. Hmm. Maybe. It feels like extra work. I mean, they sunk the ship the extra three days. It was supposed to be a 10 day cruise at sea, Scorn, and I'm still upset about that. Mm hmm. Turned into nothing but a three hour tour. I know. And like, um. and you, said, you said you were going to get me some fish to eat, and we didn't catch any the first two days. So here we I, are. I had just, rations. I made you jerky stew. I, we were know, fine. It was fantastic. Right. But I was promised fish. All right. And now I'm a little cranky, and I'm I'm, I'm hungry. That's what Well, the boat okay. was moving a little fast for me to, like, well, use the fishing pole. Okay. You know what? So just boat trip, take two. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Uh, I assume. I assume they're going to send us on another boat trip. Probably. We will see. We will see. Um, we're fired. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fire we got the crates there. back. Nobody else would have been able to get those crates back. That's true. To be fair, we brought them all back. Very true. That is true. One of them is a teeny, teeny, tiny bit open, but that's okay. No, it's not. At no point was a crate opened. Well, well, it got a little bit bumped. And then I sealed it to make sure we're good. <laughs> well, I can see that part, so. <coughs> All right, so. <coughs> That's insane. I feel invaded. You shut the fuck up right now. Uh, over the next while, uh, you all definitely are able to to uh, like the, the ship goes in without a hitch uh refugees are some of them are offloaded here at nelter um and uh taken to a safe house you all uh is there anything before this evening that you all would like to do uh talking more with the refugees um going on any more shopping excursions uh anything within the within the town yeah, yeah, scored. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Try to be prepared for a mission, and it doesn't work anyway. My bad. <laughs> Scorn doesn't want to do any more business TED Talks? Apparently not. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Question. All who's, right. staying with the, who's staying with our goods? Uh, I can stay with the goods as well. I'll, I'll stay in... Uh, um, I, actually, I, Ani, I think maybe we should hit the markets and try to find some things that um, may be good for <clears throat> batching ships. Oh. Uh, um, uh, all right. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I guess that's a, a good idea. Can, can I get... Um, was his name Saloran? Uh, Is their name? Yes. So Saloran. Yeah. Can I um 
go up to him and say, um, "Can I, can I offer you an, uh, offer you a drink at all? Maybe a meal, anything?" Um, I, I do not consume uh, alcohol, but a meal would be delightful. Maybe some more milk for you then. <laughs> Very well. And Aka just crisscross applesauce sits on top of the shipment. Like, this is Job. I watch Job. <coughs> All right. All right. So, uh, <coughs> Daisy and Anwu, go ahead and give me. Um, I'm going to say. Uh, I'm gonna need between the two of you. Don't care who does what. I'm gonna need a um, an investigation check to see if you can find uh, ship patching supplies, and uh, a persuasion check to see what price you get it at. I assume I know who's doing what, but I'll I'll probably do persuasion, and you got uh, definitely <laughs> investigate things uh, right. better than I do with my plus two. Yeah, and my plus seven and with advantage. Oh my god, I rolled the same fucking number. <laughs> I got a sixteen investigation. Okay, well, with a sixteen, you would definitely be able to find some things. It may not be like the best quality, but like, I mean, it's 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 solid one way or the other. Like, it's gotcha. not gonna let you down. Gotcha. All right, let's see what price we can get for these. Wow. I, I rolled a two. Ooh. I get plus six to it, so it's eight. <laughs> yeah, so um, <laughs> with, the, with the, the specialty tools that you're looking at, the, the lumber, uh, the, the pitch, um, the 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 nails all, all together. You're you're looking at, um, you're looking at a hundred twenty gold for everything. Uh, I I pull on on Daisy's arm, and uh, I, I bring out my Omni tool, and I'm like, uh, we could probably cut back a little bit because my Omni tool can kind of just like switch into whatever it's just got like a million million different things so if you if you want like just kind of just turn into whatever tools we need uh, like weavers tools or i don't know like a giant wrench or i don't know like so we whatever. don't need most of this crap not the tools um but anything else i like probably we're gonna need that so i maybe could cut it down a little bit i think maybe if we if we went and found scorn maybe he could make like like a pitch bomb and then the oh. bomb goes off and it like covers up holes everything with pitch yeah 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 <laughs> do you think he can make like a oh i don't know like a bomb that like just like spreads like the nails everywhere too so like we don't have to like even that would be totally safe yeah we should absolutely do that that's a great idea you could put like a bunch of like shrapnel in it and then that could just hold everything together yeah and it holds all the pieces of the ship together then i wouldn't have to hammer anything it just go in with the bomb that is so clever this is why you come up with the ideas and i convince people that they're right daisy this that's a bad idea i was kind of, i was doing this thing <laughs> I was I was kind of doing this thing I'm trying out where I like where I like joke. I didn't know if it like landed. It didn't. Is that how a joke works? It didn't, honey. It didn't okay. Land. I I was joking. I don't think that's a good idea. We're oh. talking about scorn blowing bombs up in, in the ship to oh. fix it. Well, this is why you're supposed to come up with the ideas. I, I, and I'm, I talk I'm, to I'm people. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I said I have the multi-tool that can turn it's into okay. literally anything. Well, you tell me what you need, and I'll make people give it to you. All right. That, that sounds good. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. 
So I'll say uh, because of uh, because of you not needing the tools, we will drop it down to uh, we'll drop it down to eighty gold. That took about forty off. Yeah, it's reasonable. Yeah. Um, sh- should I pay, or do you got this one? Or... No, we can split it. I can like Venmo you later or something. <laughs> Do you have cash app? Is, is that a spell? I, I can use my Google Pay. Do you have one of those chip readers? You got it. I don't know what that is, but it's okay. It's it's this multi tool I have. It's 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 crazy. Uh, all right. So, uh, anybody else doing anything before the meeting at the Siren Song tonight? Okay. All right. Then. <clears throat> I'm going to say, as this kind of begins to bring us into the the second leg of tonight's uh, show, um, there's a hefty bit on this back half, but this does kind of bring us into the second leg. We will go to a break, and we'll be back Woo! in 10-ish minutes. Um, uh, thank you guys to everyone who is who is joining us, who will watch this in the future. Uh, before we go to break, I do have one uh, announcement that I forgot to make at the beginning, um, or a, a shout out of sorts. Uh, all of the music, all of the uh, sound effects, everything that you're hearing in the background um, was, is courtesy of Nerdius Maximus Studios. Um, I will make sure that they get linked in the uh the description of this video um check them out genuinely great guy i have loved working with him uh he puts out some great stuff so um yeah if you get the chance check out his patreon his youtube whatever um nerdius maximus studios aside from that guys uh we will be right back and welcome back everyone uh Again, thank you, everyone who is joining us. Um, let's let's not spend too long inviting everyone back and welcoming everyone back. Uh, let's jump right back into it. Um, as you all uh, <clears throat> as you all go about all the things that you need to do. Um, The time approaches, uh, evening, the the only real time that you were given uh, as for the meeting in the Siren Song. You were able to relatively easily uh, find this tavern, again, next to uh, a, a, a mercantile store owned by Gideon Fulcor. Um, as you... As you enter this tavern in nestled on the banks of the sea. The siren song is a haven uh, where melodies drift on the air, mingling with the briny scent of the waters. Its walls are adorned with nets and seashells uh, that resonate the tales of the deep um, there is a, a single voice that <coughs> sort of spans over a, a melodic tune uh, a voice so sweet that it might belong to a siren you see uh, at the front an elven songstress uh, singing a, a ballad of uh, of a sailor who left his home and his love and, and the adventures and or misadventures that he experienced. <clears throat> as you do, as you hear this, rather, I will say... Um, Daisy. Yes. You, 
you feel a hand on your shoulder just tap yeah um i assume you're here for the meeting and you recognize immediately koskovich I want to listen to the song. Well, that's fine. You can listen to the song, and the rest of you can follow me. I'll listen later. <laughs> <coughs> uh, she uh, guides you all back behind uh, the counter of the bar, past uh, the barkeep, to a, a back room that... Um, she she pulls a rug or first moves a barrel pulls a rug and um opens a trap door uh and she immediately climbs down a set of stairs that she has revealed there the the room underneath being somewhat dimly lit by what looks to be a torchlight I'm I'm following. You. I'll walk down. Okay. Definitely into it. Excellent. Excellent. All right. You all make your way down, and you see, in addition to, um, in addition to the in, the individual you know as Koskovich, uh, you see a, a half elven. Uh, what looks to be a, a merchant, um, not the wealthiest, but uh, relatively well-to-do. Um, you see a a gnome that uh, is leafing through some books uh, that he has next to him. Uh, you see a dragonborn <coughs> uh, that stands tall and carries a, a an air of authority to him. And finally, you see the man you know to be Craven Van Horn. Scorn, uh, do, you, do you want to take the lead on this, or should I? I mean, you were doing fine, but I, it's, it's, it doesn't matter. Hey, boss, how's it going? We're back. Yes, We're back. that you are. <laughs> yes, and uh, I was not expecting you to be back yet. Neither were we. Yeah, but we weren't on the, on the plus side, we're all alive. And we got all the um, contents. Hmm. Well, very well. I suppose uh, that is... And he kind of looks to the others. They, uh, the, uh, let's see. Koskovich and the half elven trader both kind of give a nod. Uh, that is permissible for now. And he begins to kind of grit his teeth, almost like a little, like, not a, a little angry, but more embarrassed. Uh, that, like, you guys were the ones he hired, and now you're back. Hey, to be fair, pirates showed up, we took them down, but at the same time, they damaged the ship heavily. We saved the booty, we saved our booty, and now we're back. So we get to go for round two. Maybe this time we get a ship that's, you know, well-armed. And, and also, even better, that there were no survivors. <laughs> so there's nobody to tell the tale that we survived. And and I would also like to point out that it was the crew of the ship that did not take care of the ship. We did our job. Yes, and I would also like to ask if I can tinker in here. <sighs> just go sit in a corner, kid. Just go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They just kind of all disregard that. Um, <laughs> I thought at this juncture. I thought we were yelling things. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Oh, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> the answer is yes, though. Oh, right, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. If you're not going to contribute to the conversation, prep for the next mission. It, so, um, <laughs> Koskovich uh, speaks next. Since you are here, I suppose that I should introduce myself. Um, Seraphine Valhart, at your service. Hello. Hi, Daisy, Scorn, Sebastian, and Yahoo, yeah. and Aka. Yeah, I, 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 I remember. I remember. Um, oh, you remember our names? I, I've got a mind like a steel trap, Daisy. Uh, that said, I am obviously uh, being here and not having the name Kolskovich. I, I, well, I am responsible for what we will soon know to be uh, international relations, uh, negotiations, that sort of thing. That's the reason I was in Siluria, and I, well, witnessed firsthand some of the things that were going on there and helped some people get out alive. This is Gideon Fulcor. Uh The half-elf sort of uh, regards you. Um, he, he represents several factions and traders uh, which have interest and or investment in this newly forming republic. Uh, that, that is Thalrex Brighton. The gnome looks up from his books. Uh, uh, Thalrex Brighton at your service. Yeah. And um, she, uh, Seraphine says, financial genius. He's good with coin. He's good with trade. And he will be uh, in charge of such things as trade and treasury in the Republic. Uh, Kavaxian Mistelior. He begins to speak up as if to correct the pronunciation of his name. Uh, he will be in charge of law enforcement, uh, judiciary. Uh, well, that's that's his expertise, not mine. Uh, and of course, you know, Craven, uh, Gideon, and Craven are not officially members of this uh, council, so to speak, but they both have vested interest in what goes on here. Now that introductions have been made, tell us a little bit more about what happened, if you will. Should I, should I break out the journal again? <laughs> Probably not. I would say about what about what is it, like a day and a half in, I, I was the only one who spotted us being followed, and like you had mentioned, Craven, that we had a pretty fast ship. Thought it was kind of odd. We decided to make a plan to see if they were, because they were on a trajectory course with us. So we decided to make a plan. Plan didn't go as planned. And, uh, well, here we are. But we at least had the know-how to grab the stuff you wanted us to take over. Yeah, we tried to slow them down, but even though we're on the fastest ship, they still intercepted us like it was no one's business. We took down theirs, but they still did enough damage to us. But we saved us, the crew, and the goods. But the ship, done. It's the only loss. Honestly, when you think about everything else that was involved, all the other things to be considered, is one ship really that big of a deal? Like, I mean, they are pretty expensive. Yeah, yeah kind of. More expensive than the lives that would have been lost? They don't give a crap about you or me. Scorn, well, you that is where you're wrong. Um, well, uh, uh, Craven doesn't give a crap about either of you. And that is true. That is true. But the Republic is for all people. Uh, 
And, well, those of us in charge do care. A ship is a hefty loss, to be sure. But the cargo is um, with us. Uh, no, what? Let's be honest here. I'm certain that in this, you probably know what the cargo is. Well, what? we did open at least one, all right? We just had to know because ultimately... <coughs> I needed to know if the water was going to ruin it. All right? Whatever it was. I assume you mean after the ship was wrecked? What happened was the ship got yeah. tussled, and during the impact, one of them got kind of bumped open. Some the little bit of the content spilled out. We sealed it right away. But, yes, in doing so, we did see contents of at least one crate. So we're left to assume they're all the same. But it's not like we would be in nosy or anything. It's not, <laughs> no, 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 no. Some but, people were but thinking also, about it, but we never would. But also, you sure. mind telling me why yeah. people had their lives lost because of this? Uh, Scorn, do not lie to me. I know you are a nosy person. I, hey, sweetheart, I would never lie to you. You told me to get the boxes from here to there. I'm not going to open up anything. I told you, during... Our trip, something happened, and a lid got popped loose. I sealed it. My job was to seal it. I happened to see what the contents were. That's not on me. Whoever sealed that thing did not do a good job. I'm yeah. just saying, we got sideswiped with cannon fire, wood splinters everywhere. You're, you're lucky that none of the crates got damaged to that extent. Uh, and you can knock them for that one. Well, I thank all of you for that one. Um, but uh, what what did you mean, uh, Sebastian? Uh, what you seem surprised that lives could have been lost for for this? What what is in the crates? You, you don't, don't know. No, you no. Were... I told you on. I told you on the dawn's light. I Maybe. did not know. Maybe we shouldn't tell him. We should, should we tell. I don't think we should stay. <laughs> it was it was grain. I mean, the uh, one that got jostled open had grain in it. Grain, nothing I more. Test, I tested it. No, there was no nothing toxic or magical about the grain. It was literally just a food source. Don't forget the nightshade. Oh, there they were, know they no know magic. the painting on the outside. Uh, yeah, I saw the painting. At this point, Thalrex Brighton looks up again from his books. Uh, uh, now, uh, when you say uh, you mean just uh, wheat or barley or something? Yes. Uh, to that something extent, like that. yes. <coughs> huh. Interesting. Um, now, if something's uh, inside with it and that's being used as packing goods, can't say. We didn't open it like that. Like I said, it got hit, leaked out a little bit. We sealed it, saw what was in there, and we were like, okay, this is grain of some kind. Didn't look like packing peanuts to me, but whatever. Interesting. Um, well, I... Um, give me one second. Uh, and he begins to uh, leaf through a secondary book he has on one side. Uh, the manifest, uh, well, it's unclear of what was to be shipped uh, grain grain who signed off on this uh, uh, very well that was the chancellor um i i don't nope. know we don't know what, what initially say. was supposed to be in there we didn't know if someone gave you guys the old switcheroo we just know when the content spilled a little bit we clarified that it was grain of some kind and it was not toxic in nature to poison people, and it was no magical aura or essence about it to Nothing do magical. somewhat. Insane. It was just rain to either be planted or to be made into food. Hmm. Unless the people who are going to eat it were allergic to gluten, then he's bad. That's getting around. That really. would be like, pretty bad. Be bad. I'm a fly. I'll have guy. to. I'll have to check in with. Uh, Lady Marwin to see uh, what exactly we were shipping grain. 
at such high cost for... Uh, she must have agents in the area or something. And now, to be fair, it wasn't our job to question. <coughs> it was our job to deliver. Problem is, uh, our mode of yeah. transportation was destroyed. Uh, yeah, and we will... Uh, we will talk about transportation uh, later. You have your you have your initial payment, correct? Yeah. Okay. No, we oh, weren't right. given that initial payment. It, <coughs> Crazy. Give me a I'm check. I'm missing you. Okay. 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 <laughs> well, no, technically, we were we were promised hazard pay, and we did. You, you said we crashed boat. Yes, Daisy. The, 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 the boat. Yes. It's like okay. I mean, the yeah, 200 was for that trip. That trip is over with. New trip, new ship. Yes, I am. Right. So we we can talk about uh, a new trip, uh, but uh, we do have a a slightly differing proposition from what was uh, originally suggested, and it might be more beneficial for both parties involved. Do I have to go on the ocean again? Well, that would be up to you. Um, it is a much a much faster journey on the ocean. But hey, if you'd rather go on land, that's fine too, I suppose. Okay. Are we talking horse and buggy or are we talking train? Uh I, yeah, we're we're talking more uh, horse and buggy. Um, yeah, it's 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 a long trip on land uh, to Hildurin. Um, I hate to say uh, it, there, Zeb, like but it's easier to get ambushed on land than it is to get ambushed on the water. I mean, I understand. Yeah, I don't know, man. It Statistically easier. speaking, we're. Oh, for one on land safety. We are well, one for one on ship danger. See, and that's can, what I mean, is that we may be more likely to be attacked, but we're much more likely to be able well, to defend ourselves. Uh, let, okay, let's just hear the proposition first. What you got? <clears throat> so, uh, after hearing of your... Uh, exploits in, in saving the cargo and returning it via lifeboat. Um, I have uh, I have convened with uh, other members of uh, our newly forming organization, and we need people like you. Aww. No, it's nice to be needed. <coughs> We would be greatly, um, we would be greatly indebted stop, stop. and grateful to you. You're gonna drop it. Should you sign on as, uh, we'll say official members of this uh, newly forming, uh, organization, this new, new republic, as our. Covert operations group. Mm. This would uh, come with a heftier paycheck. Hold on. And a heftier risk, I take it. Well, uh, putting putting treason on your forehead to two separate nations doesn't exactly uh, make friends. No. Better pay is better pay. <laughs> I like your spirit, giant woman. Um, yeah, but um, better pay <laughs> is only better pay when you're alive to use that better pay. That is also that is also true. Um, and so uh, we do have uh, room in our um. Uh, budget, our, uh, in, uh, we'll, we'll call it the treasury, uh, for a ship with more guns. I, 
I like more yes. guns, but you're going to need to be a little bit more forthcoming we, about this. Can we get the same crew that we had prior, but just add, like, double as well? Oh, uh, we... Uh, should they reach uh, Harbor again, uh, <laughs> uh, we would very much up. like to hire them on. Should be another three hours, give or take, but they'll be here. Uh, very well. Uh, if they If they reach here, then... Uh, yes, we could, uh, I'm certain, uh, give you the same crew. Um, uh, that said, I, I, I think I will defer back to, um, uh, Seraphine, uh, uh, sorry, um, uh, uh, Lady Valhart, um, uh, yes. Yeah, he doesn't really like to do the talking, uh, he prefers that other people do that and he sees to his books. Fine, whatever. So, there's the offer, and I think we could both benefit greatly from this. What are your initial thoughts? All I'm saying is speed didn't do us a lick of good last time. And yes. we're not we're not good at defending ourselves on a boat. Well, speak for yourself. Now that I know what to do, I'm going to sink there how to immediately. Patch. Sorry, that was so rude. Did you learn how to patch a ship? Oh, no. I can't patch a ship, but like I can I can put many more holes in theirs. If we if we also have holes, though, we, we still go down too. But that's why I asked for double the crew. So, so they can actually like get to you know what they need to faster. As this one was just meant for speed, hopefully they have just a little bit more ability to like get to what they need to. That's the hope. I'm just here for the vibes. <coughs> one other thing I could possibly suggest, just throwing that out there, is a different flag and sails to change out once we're out at sea. Because if said people are still looking for us and someone shaded uh someone shady gave us the information hey look for this ship with white sails with a blue cross whatever it happens to be if we are different when we're out at sea maybe they'll be like okay that's not who we want let's keep looking a deterrent from a distance kind of thing won't save our bacon but it might make it harder to find us Scorn, you never cease to be resourceful. I know, I'm good. Uh, I wouldn't say it like that, but resourceful for certain. Boss, I've made you a very rich man. That you have. I'll give you. I'll give that to you. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, do we have, in addition to the ship with more guns, do we have... A uh, room in our treasury, uh, Mr. Thalrex. The tinkering has stopped. Um, <laughs> I'm, uh, I have a question. Um, are you the ones who are responsible for taking refugees to the city of the lost? <clears throat> uh, you know. <clears throat> We have been known to help them at least through this city uh, at times, um, but we haven't had the opportunity to do that in quite some time. Uh, do you know of any recent endeavors? Um, I would like to say uh, it starts here with, with me. As long as we continue the efforts to harbor fugitives <laughs> and make sure that they are in safe hands um i i would be willing to uh to see that continued Ani, well, what are you saying uh, you don't want to go to the land of the lost i'm saying that if it helps people who are less fortunate if it helps people that are being preyed upon then i'll 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 do it hmm. that's very noble of you Anyanwu. i appreciate that in you in someone like you you're amazing uh, thank you 
Thank you. Hey. And what you, you working on over there? If you can help people, oh. it always helps us. I, I'm I'm just I guess I'm just well what I was really doing was building like an arcano bridge for, for the suit. It's it's really nothing. It's just something with the firmament and it, it it's nothing. Oh uh, no, no, no. Go ahead. Wow. Well do we it's like we don't need to like stop this conversation so we can talk about this really cool arcano bridge I'm doing so I can cast magic missile like at a, a farther distance that it's it's not really anything. But I did record this entire message. Do I need to delete it? Sorry. I, I have magic tinkering on right now, so I am recording the message. Should I delete it? Is this secret? Sorry. Yeah, if there's any kind of record of this, uh, get rid of it. Okay, sweet. Now, I will do anything to be written on the right side of history. Now, that his people who write history normally goes to the victor. What are... What are the chances of this actually, you know, doing what it needs to and getting to fruition? I am not the numbers guy. Thalrex, what are our odds? Yeah, big guy, what you got? Uh, he's actually a little guy. No, I know. I, but oh, I still, okay, good, yeah, good, yeah good. big guy. Excellent. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I am not usually, I'm not, I'm not very big. Uh, Thank you. But thank you. You're welcome. Uh, oh, okay. Um, uh, uh, quick calculations. Um, uh, well, the odds are um, realistically less than less than five percent uh, with uh, accommodations for variables. Never tell me the odds. I say we do this. We're the ones that have to agree to it. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you will do this. <laughs> you will do it. <laughs> I say you do it. You have balls. Right. I I'm like balls. sorry. I I got overzealous. Uh, Anyan Wu, uh, your your rousing speech uh, inspired me. Uh, apologies. I... And Scorn, you've never seen this side of Craven. Like, this is weird to you. Insight check. <laughs> Give me an insight check. <laughs> it's the slow sink and creep towards the camera. I know, I know. <laughs> uh, 18 plus... Uh, 18. The camera's too far away. <laughs> he just kind of sees you looking at him uh, intently, and he says, Well, score. it's like you said. Uh, when you help people, you help yourself. Business is good when there is business to be had. And he's well, being honest. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I, I do apologize for those odds, uh, but I'm just trying to be realistic. I, I believe in this cause. Uh, I believe that a, a system uh, uh, at the system as it is must be uh, broken and built better. Um, but uh, you asked, and so that is my answer. That's good enough for me. All right, right and the rest of you. I'm fine with um, it. I just need to know where to go, where to be, and what to do. I go wherever the story is. I really like stories, so this seems like an interesting one. I'm in. Who's with me? <clears throat> I thought that was going to be cooler. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Zep yeah, does, uh, the, Zep does the put his people hand sitting up. around the table, they don't just kind of like look at you like, what? what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was trying to start something. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like wrapped up in the moment. It was who's with no, I'm not gonna do it again, sorry. No. It's all right, Anyan. Well clearly <clears throat> the people in the room here are not as rousing as you are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know maybe like, he should be I, the political I, figure. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <clears throat> well, you say that, but you have never met 
the Chancellor. You're right. Maybe someday soon, you might. Until then, I think that this calls for some celebration. Um, how about a new bottle of uh, Sarian Red? Sarian Red. <coughs> and, uh, Absolutely. Uh, I've had some. Have you? You know what that is? Uh, give me a history check. She, she, she's bold faced lion. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you, would you like a deception check instead? Uh, you know, or a performance. Yeah. It, it, give me, give me deception. Uh, <laughs> is anybody, is anybody? actually making a history check to know about this uh excellent okay all i know is i don't drink anything <laughs> when the hollow fang is involved stay close to me wait should uh, i not oh. should i should i not be drinking <coughs> you do you boo boo all right uh well uh if you had it before then i'm certain it will be just exactly how it tasted before uh seraphine absolutely goes goes back and uh, rummages through a couple of things. Uh, this was meant to be a gift, but in light of this uh, momentous occasion, I think we'll just pop it open now. And uh, she she begins to kind of unwrap a, a bit of um, uh, this, this paper that seems almost like it has gold leaf uh, wrapped around the paper. Uh, she takes a, a corkscrew uh, pops it open and pours everyone a glass um, to the New Republic. She raises her glass. The New Republic. Uh, the New uh, Re Republic. Uh, and and so forth and so on. The New Republic. Uh, the New Republic. Uh, wait, do we have a straw? <laughs> Not like how I remember it. It's been a I'll while since one. I it's had it. I make a straw real quick and I sip it through no. <laughs> in my arcane for, battle suit. For those of you who don't know, uh, Sarian Red is from Sarai's Caress, uh, an archipelago that some say has a piece of uh, Sarai's firmament. And so everything grown there is lush and enhanced by the goddess herself. Uh, and she, she takes another swig, and it is delightful. It is delightful wine. Uh, but the aftertaste, the aftertaste is what gets you a harsh and acrid bitterness. I need everyone to make me a con save. Okay. No, 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 no. Inaka doesn't trust anything that's not piss in a cup, so she was just smelling. <laughs> <laughs> this I had fancy. What is this? Gordon was just drinking from his own vial. He didn't drink from the cup. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, give me a. Uh -oh. Sure. What do, what do you need? <laughs> Con save. Yep. Con save. Go ahead. Yeah. I would. I definitely drank that. I <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to play. I drank that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, it's funny. I have a plus nine for my con save, but I rolled a nat one. So, mm -hmm. oof. However, I think you're immune to poison, right? Oh my god. I'm immune, immune to, to what no. the hell now, Josh? I'm immune to disease. You're immune to poison, right? You drink the wine, but you're immune to poison, right? So you're one I, second. I'm, I'm the one that's immune to poison. Ah, I thought somebody was. I thought it was the paladin. It just seemed to make sense for paladin stuff. Oh, All right. Poison. No worries. Five points of lay on hands will take care of whatever's coming my way, but, you know, let's deal with it first. Depends on what happens. Uh, <laughs> I, went so ahead and, I went ahead and rolled it earlier. Uh, if you guys look in the roll 20, okay. just over the what's new, 
Hang on, I gotta end. Well, you will see more. some you will see some damage. What has happened? Anyone no. who drank uh will take fifty-three points of poison damage. Uh I'm say who, what? I'm who goes down. Okay. Oh my god, Daisy is immediately just livid. Absolutely fing livid. <clears throat> Yep. Can I uh, you immediately see... pump my ha- lay on hands in, or am I like, like what happens here? Would that take you down? No. Okay, yeah. No, yeah, like I'm still it. standing, but like I would like to use all of my lay on hands. Yeah, you do. Uh, you can. Okay. Uh, okay. Seraphine drops. Gideon drops. Um, Zeb. Alrex drops. Craven does not. But he is reeling. Kavaxian also reeling. I imagine I would I would vomit first, just really quick, almost like cough up blood and everything just all over myself and just be like, just take it and then just like just double tap my chest and then like my my hand glows and then just puts me back to back to better. Um and then uh I'm, I got him. I got him. Go find okay. whoever did that. I got you, him. You take care of him. I, I will look to Scorn, and I'll say, like, we need to figure this out. I'm going to watch the door. See if everybody, if you can wake him up. Uh, do, 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 do. Inaka, are you, are you, you're here as well? Is the poison continuous, or is it just damage one time? It was just damage one time. It is, I mean, above board, it's like purple worm poison is the, the what I used for it. Um, yeah, and Anaka just turns down the cup like, I don't trust that fancy shit. It always makes my stomach go bubble bubble. <laughs> Scorn's gonna um, cap and steal the rest of that bottle. I um, just okay. And I'm I going just, to take a potion to Anyanwu and try to like keep him from dying. I just cast <laughs> your wounds on him for 23 hit points. Okay. All right. So with let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten glasses into a bottle of wine. You could get whatever's left. Uh, the bottle is broken on the floor. There is just a little bit left um, that you can bottle. Uh, okay. I'd say about enough for about enough for a glass. Okay, so the cup that I didn't drink and Naka didn't drink, can I get those two? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so you have uh, three glasses worth. Okay. Three doses of purple worm toxin. I'd like to go to the people who are oh, like... Oh, I'm going to use you later, bad boy. Who else is unconscious right now? I, it, uh, ha- it happened it, so fast. Everyone but Kavaxian and Craven. So you've got Thalrex, Seraphine, and Gideon all unconscious. Uh, oh, Daisy I'm... is not, right? I don't remember. Which of you are <coughs> Daisy isn't. Daisy used cure. Okay, so I will also use. Yeah. I'll, I'll use cure wounds on the other two, if that's okay. Okay. Of the like who's, the other two people who are unconscious right now. Who's ever yeah. left? I'll hit them with a potion. Excellent. All right. So as you do all this, they come up immediately, vomiting again. Everything like 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 Zeb, just uh, that coughing up blood, vomiting up uh, whatever they had in them. Um, and uh, Seraphine looks at everyone. What just happened? Can I examine the cork and see if I see notice like a needle mark inside the cork? Uh, yeah, give me a perception or investigation check. Uh, let's see which is better. <coughs> investigation. Whew, that Ooh, was a lot uh, of damage. Eight, yeah, 19. Oh, damage. 19 for investigation. 19? Yeah. Uh, you've done this before, Scorn. You know exactly how to poison a bottle of wine. Uh, and that's exactly what's happened here. Uh, a needle has been inserted through the cork. Um, and you can just, it's barely perceptible. But somebody has poisoned this bottle. All right. Now that every one of you schmucks are awake, let's talk about it. Who brought this here? Who was supposed to keep an eye on it and who gifted it to you? Uh, I, um, I, I bought it. Um, from? Oh, actually, uh, sorry. <clears throat> My apologies. 
Uh, sorry, I, I sent Gideon to buy it. Yes, well, uh, I, I, uh, yes, I bought it and brought it here. Uh, so I, I question, well, what type of uh, dragonborn is he? Uh, Gideon is the half elf. <coughs> uh, no, I mean, Kavaxian, I'm, yeah, Kavaxian yeah, is a uh, silver dragonborn. Okay. I was looking for a poison resistant one. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> Uh, all right, so uh, Gideon says, "Yes, I, 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 um, uh, uh, I was the one who brought this, and it, well, I, uh, I bought it from a very reputable place. Uh, it's a nice gift. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I, I, honestly, I'm not even going to say you don't even need an insight check here. He's telling the truth. Uh, <coughs> who besides I bought it you had access to this thing?" I have had it in my possession since I brought it down here. Well, then, out of all of you, I bought it. out of all of you, clearly, <coughs> you're the one who has been made. Uh, unf I mean, I, I have no, uh, I have no defense uh, other than uh, uh, I have none. Uh, yep. I, I must rely on your trust, uh, your your good nature. I... It's not about my trust. Well, how do the others feel about you? What is the name uh, of this place that you bought the wine from? Uh, Sarai's Gift, of course. Uh, what other place would have a bottle of Sarian Red? I have a question. Have you bought this from there before? No, uh, too, um, well, too rich for my blood. I prefer a, a mid-shelf red wine. Do you go to this gift shop a lot? No, um, Sarai's gift is, well, uh, shall we say, uh, among the pricier um, uh, wineries. This is an outpost from the uh, from Sarai's caress. Okay, so walk me through the steps here. You buy the wine, and then you, you hold it in your hand, and you walk straight to this location. Correct. <clears throat> Let's who be was real. Your, um, <coughs> who who did you pay for the wine? What? Race, gender, age was the person that sold it to you. I'm What's sorry. Their why, ASL? why would why would their lineage matter? I'm just looking for more leads. Very well. Yes. <clears throat> <clears throat> it was, uh, as I said, it was uh, the outpost of Sarai's gift. Um, uh, I. I believe there are only one or two uh, that work there. They're both uh, human. A, a, a couple, if I'm not mistaken. Now, to be fair, in the line of work that we deal with every day, there is very clearly any number of people who could have done, who could have made that slip, <coughs> who, could, who could have put the venom or that whatever that poison was in there. Now, that said... What are y'all going to have us do about it? Do you, do you, what do we do? You want us to go shake down them? Or shall we get to get in this mission? <clears throat> we need to get you some protection? What do we got to do? Um, I, 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 I'm sure I don't know. Uh, Seraphine, <coughs> what do you think of this? Um, uh, honestly... Ow, I, I am still in a little bit of pain. But uh, what I would say is we should probably understand what just happened because this was about to go to somebody really important if I hadn't just opened it just now. Who? This was meant to be a gift for, for future Chancellor Marwin. 
I'm sorry, I'm not very politically inclined. Um, the Chancellor is for not, no, for the Republic? For, for the Republic, yeah. Gotcha. I mean, you're welcome, Chancellor. Um, my buddy here almost died. I, I have a question. Who knew it was supposed to go to um, Meryl, uh, the cha- the future chancellor? Who knew um, it was supposed to be there? Uh, that was that was uh, me, and uh, that was me and and Giddy. <coughs> and I sent him to go get it. Uh, I I I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've. I, I, we all know it's it's a favorite red. Can I roll an insight check on her? Yeah, absolutely. Where'd my insight go? Oh God! Oh, there it is. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Uh, <laughs> she seems to be rattled. Uh, very rattled. Um but not from the line of questioning, but by the fact that she was a, she was fully prepared to give this to the chancellor. Uh, given all of that, then, unless somebody says something or stops her, Inaka's going to automatically turn, walk out, and make for the winery. Okay. Scorn's going to uh, look as- at Craven. Hey, uh, boss man, looks like we had a little bit of a Grapes of Wrath move done here. Can you uh, tell me if uh, anyone? <coughs> if I don't think you would know if anyone's involved, but maybe just in your connections, maybe we could find out who um, was scheming. Because this is a basic tactic for a, you know, the guild. So I'm not saying they're involved, but maybe someone that might know somebody that knows somebody is involved. So know I don't something know. about? Yeah. So maybe we can get some some ears on the on the streets, find out what's going on. Because this is a tactic. Very well, I, 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 uh, I, I understand your concern. Um, I, I will, I will have my men at once on this. Um, and Gideon uh, says, <coughs> "Well, I also have a, a connection within." this city, a, uh, uh, an alchemist, um, uh, We already have uh, one of those. <coughs> oh, uh, yes, well. <laughs> so, um, I, I do know, I do know the guy he's talking about. You're talking about the, uh, the, the guy down in, uh, in, uh, on, you know, Yes. Yeah, I know the guy he's talking about. He's a but good he's good. We don't. So Oh, right. Uh well, so he operates He operates under the name Ildak. I I don't know if it's his real name or not, but Ildak is is what we call him. So, uh he he does good work. Um he would, if there's somebody within the city that would know about poisons in the city, uh, it, it would be Ildak. All right, so everyone that's involved right now, let's make a list. Who are we interviewing? We need them to get some names. Well, I'm pretty sure Anaka just stormed off. I don't know where she was headed, I, but I think True. the only thing she would have known was maybe the where they got the bottle from so we might want to check in on that and make sure that she doesn't bull in a china shop <laughs> bull in a, in a wine shop yeah, yeah that's a, a lot of bottles shop. that she might break and i don't think we need to expa- <laughs> pay for that so i can go with her well no she she already left she, she's gone i don't know how you you can't see the you know the nine foot tall empty space but but yeah, she she let she walked away. Screw it. Uh, Scorn's gonna grab his ear <coughs> and like rub his earring and like point up the stairs and rub it. And he's gonna cast a message no, to Inaka. No, no, no. And um, 
Hey, uh, big and tall. Let's uh, hold up a second. We're going to be following you in, in a little bit. So it's me, the Hobgoblin, your friend. Uh, stop. I'll be there in five. Boo. I'm in your head. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Gosh, I love message. Um, That's hilarious. All right. I think that might have been so, more than 25, uh, but still. <laughs> it's fine. <coughs> um, so, right now, you have uh, Gideon. You have Seraphine. You have uh, the outpost of uh, Sarai's Gift, a winery based in Sarai's Caress. Um, and finally, you have Ildek. A, an alchemist who would, if there is some news of poison in the city, uh, he would know about it. I'm I'm calling dibs on the alchemist. That makes sense. That sounds good to me. But uh, let's uh, meet Anaka upstairs before. I told her to wait for five. I don't know if she uh, she thinks that that five seconds or five minutes. So let's. Uh, Let's go. Yeah, Let's that's go. A, that's an important distinction. We should okay, know. You, don't, you don't have to worry about that because Anaka comes barreling back into the room, grabs Scorn by the shoulders, and looks right in his face. How are you in my head? What are you talking about? How are you in my head? What? I'm I'm how I'm right here. How am I in your head? You were whoa, whoa, in whoa, my head. whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, 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 hey! Put the I, I like put put him down. It's okay. I'm right here. I'm not in your head. You I am so tempted. I... Oh my god, I have to the, do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast a message and I'm gonna make Daisy's voice sound exactly like Scorn's. <laughs> I get it said. This is I'm gonna send a knockdown <laughs> message. So chaotic. <laughs> how does how does Daisy sound like Scorn? Oh, oh please. <laughs> Him. You got hey, you got you. You put yourself up. You got you. Get in there. <laughs> What's going on? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get in Sell it to me. Yeah. Sell it to me. <laughs> Something like this. <laughs> <laughs> she just goes. She just goes. Yeah, I'm never gonna believe you. <laughs> You're in my head now. How do you do this? Your mouth isn't even moving. I, I'm right here. What are you talking about? I see that, but you're also stop it, little man. She puts him down and stands First up. First off, I'm five foot five. I'm not little. She stands up to her full eight foot height and looks down at him. <laughs> you are little to me. You fuck your ankles. <laughs> so, thing. People do that. Yeah, like, don't, I don't kink shame. <laughs> Link shame. No shame. Link. <laughs> Moving swiftly on from that conversation. Yep, absolutely. As as you all uh, head toward um, uh, Sarai's gift, uh, you are we just know, gonna leave? Are we just gonna leave them to their business? I can stay here. Um, I uh, I can talk to some some uh, people here. I probably shouldn't go out. I still kind of feel bad. I threw up in my suit. Uh, Daisy casts prestidigitation and just cleans him. <laughs> I'm gonna sob. Beautifully <laughs> oh. <laughs> ever. Look, he Zeb comes over to him. I imagine. What are you like? Just like sitting down or something? Oh, he, Zeb's gonna like crouch down and be like, put his hand on your shoulder and be like, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> you, you, hey, you're you doing take, the magic missile thing. That's impressive. You, yeah, you you take your time. Whatever that arc thingy you were talking about, that's great. You keep keep working on that. All right, all right. We'll we'll be right back. Okay. That sounds good. I'll if if I'm feeling better, I'll I'll talk to these guys. You put your talk. Yeah, get them to tell you what what you need to do. Okay, like what information we got to get. Get that out of them. Also, that politician thing. I was serious. All right. Good luck. Bye. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna take my, um, object of, I have a silver raven, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. leave it with you, Ani, and, Ooh. um, if you need me, or if anything happens, just send her on back to me, okay? Uh-huh. Okay. I like to just imagine that it's, it's actually, uh, 
Piccolo. Just... Piccolo. <laughs> yeah. 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 Piccolo. I was trying to think of the name. Uh, Piccolo. Uh, Piccolo. Um, Piccolo. All right. So Glad you make your way toward uh, Sarai's <laughs> gift. And as you do, you note that it does seem to be closed at the moment. Uh, it is evening. And so most businesses, uh, aside from pubs, taverns, inns, etc., uh, are closed up or closing. Do they live above the store? One way to find uh, out. Swift knock a, at the door. Shh, there is a second story. So uh, Swift knock at the door. Okay. With his foot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'll be polite first. <laughs> You, okay. After a couple seconds, you, you, you hear some, some rummaging around. You, you see a, uh, what looks to be a, a, a lamplight that comes on in the front room. Uh, a, a man comes to the door, uh, with, uh, sort of bronzed skin, um, hair that that uh is straight but not long enough to sweep over his eyes uh and generally this guy looks like a, a pretty hard-working fellow um he opens the door i'm sorry but we're we're closed uh yes hence why i knocked so I've got a couple of questions for you. If you're willing, if you're willing to have the time, I got I got a little coin on me as well <coughs> that might persuade you to let us on in, have a little private uh, conversation. Uh, yes, very well. Uh, right. What what could uh, how could I help you? All right. Uh, do we? Does he let us in? Uh, yeah, he would. He would uh, kind of uh, open the door a little bit more, kind of stand to the side. All right, Inaka, if you wouldn't mind, door, please. Please tell me you be more specific than that. <laughs> Close the door, please. <laughs> She'll ripping the door off. I would have pivoted. I would have pivoted so hard with the interrogation <sighs> after that. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, She'll shut the I door. Just... And... <laughs> oh no! Go ahead. I was just gonna say she'll she'll shut the door and kind of look at the dude and do one of these and just stand in front of it, like so, taking up the whole doorway. Now I I did say coin. Let me grab. I, I so here's uh, five gold for your time. Now he he is uh, uh, by this point he is getting relatively nervous. Like you can see him kind of squirming as like you all shut the door and and everything. Uh, it's kind of as. Here's a go ahead. Problem. One of your wares has been purchased recently, some top shelf stuff. Well, the contents had been poisoned before the seal was even broken. So we're trying to get a, a trail going on to figure out who would poison said bottle for a certain customer. How often do you sell Sarian Red? Um, yes, that we, we only had one bottle. Uh, it's a very rare wine. Hmm. <coughs> Now, here's the thing. When the guy came in to purchase it, did anyone, did you happen to notice anyone following him, accompanying him, watching his movements, asking questions after the fact, besides us, obviously? No. Um, uh, uh, Benito! Benito! Bless you. And uh, uh, a, another... Uh, man uh, of a, a larger build kind of comes around the uh, corner where the stairs most likely lead up into a, a bedroom. Uh, yes. What, what, what do what do you need? Oh, uh, who are who are these people? What are they doing in my house? Uh, paying our way into a conversation and i i'm only giving you the five gold i'm not going to double it per person we're talking to just so you so as you know all right alfonso i told you not to talk to people after dark 
Uh, yes, well, I, I, uh, well, uh, they, they offered me coin. I don't care if they offered you coin. I told you not to talk to the people after dark. Don't worry. Look, we're just trying to, uh, go ahead. Um, we're, we're not here for any real trouble. We're just trying to get a little <laughs> bit more information. You see, um, the wine from your store killed my friend. And it makes me a little bit uncomfortable that that happened. So if you have any insight for us, that would be just <laughs> great. Both jaws just like hit the floor. Several seconds go by as they just kind of like look at each other, then look at you, then look at each other, then look at you. And uh, finally, uh, Benito uh, says, yes, the best that I can tell you, best that I can tell you is that uh, 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 we had a, uh, a break in last night, but nothing was stolen. Okay, I assume okay. that since uh, since nothing was stolen, everything was all right. I assume they didn't like our wares, or uh, they couldn't crack the safe. Okay, so <coughs> what did you notice about the break-in, per se? How did you know it was a break-in? Well, well the, the window was broken, and he okay. gestures over to, like, the, the far end where uh, where most of the wine is kept, and there is a a window that is still uh, shattered. Uh, we haven't had the chance to fix it yet. Now, where would that bottle of red have been sitting before you sold it? Daisy is going to go inspect the window. <coughs> okay. Uh, give me an investigation check as you inspect the window. Uh, Benito looks toward the, the counter, and there are some shelves where, where it looks like uh, some of the nicer wines uh, were set. Uh, and this is like not the not the finest wine, but it there's an empty space on the shelf, uh, second shelf from the top, uh, and he just kind of gestures to where that is. Oh. Can't believe you, Josh. So unprofessional. Uh, I know it. I know it. <coughs> um, he gestures to where it is and says, "That's where it was." Okay. So either you have multiple bottles that are tampered with with poison or for some reason they picked that one bottle that got sold to that target. How did the sale go between you and him? Uh, well, he, he Why did he uh, leave with that one? Did you suggest it? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I, I do feel quite a bit of shame. Uh, <clears throat> he, he answers, no, he was looking for this in particular. Okay. He said it was uh, the, a, a gift, someone's favorite. Uh, not sure. Okay. Well, I'm not saying that you're a guilty party, but for your business safety, I would inspect every cork of your wine bottles, just in case, because if they were just filling up multiple at random, you might have a little um, problem with future customers besides this one. Um, Daisy rolled a 19 on that investigation of the window, but I'd also like to ask if, um, are you, you're sure you're the only sellers of this kind of wine within any nearby radius. And he, 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 he almost immediately after what you said, Scorn begins to like go over toward the shelves and, and look at them. And as he picks one up, you say that, and he kind of like puffs his chest out. What are you talking about? Of course we are. This is from, uh, uh, <laughs> as the DM checks his notes, this is from Sarai's gift, from the uh, from Sarai's crest. We are the only ones who serve this 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 wine. Okay. Well then, you're the only ones who could be held accountable for this, as far as we know. 
and as you say that, he just kind of like takes note. Oh, right, and goes back to uh, the bottle uh, and looking at that. Uh, you're 19. <coughs> With a 19 investigation, what you would know is that uh, the way that the window was shattered. It's 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 one of those windows that kind of has. Uh, um, it's kind of divided up into quarters, uh, and only one of the quarters. Uh, looks to have been the point of impact. Then uh, a couple others were broken afterward. Uh, but the the initial impact was uh, it, you notice a, a, a piece of uh, like a, a fiber of some kind of cloth that had hung onto it. Um, somebody placed a cloth there and made the the impact, uh, dampening the sound. Um, this is something, or this is someone that uh, they've done this before. Um, this was this was not just at random. Awesome! I'm gonna take that cloth, and <coughs> I have zero ability to detect anything but magic on this, and I have a feeling it has nothing to do with magic. So I'm gonna. Offer it to Scorn, and if Scorn doesn't have an idea, then I'll take it back to Ani. Unless we got someone that can scry, I don't know what we could do with that thing. That's what I figured. But all it tells us is this was very much planned. If they put a cloth up to dampen the sound and the damage to the other glass in the area, this is not some schmo. This is someone that's affiliated with some type of assassination group. How much to fix your windows? Uh, we didn't break it. <coughs> we haven't really had someone to come in yet to uh, give us an estimate, but I, I assume no more than a gold or two. Ah, good. So I've already paid what you need and then some and uh, uh benito kind of like looks at alfonso alfonso kind of uh, uh, yes yes that that would quite cover it thank you now do i have to remind you that we weren't here uh they both look at each other uh benito says who wasn't here? I didn't see nobody. Precisely. Right. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> and knock on the door. <laughs> <laughs> she opens the door, waits for everybody to step out, and as soon as they do, like uh, I, I understand, there's probably going to be more RP, but still, just the last as uh, after everyone's walked out. She does her uh, hour of reaping for a second because this isn't combat round, so it's only six seconds. And she just looks at them dead with the uh, with the with the grim reaper face coming down and goes, uh. "If you say a single word about us being here, I will come back. Do you understand?" They uh, both stagger back, uh, afraid of this, and just like try to look away and pretend you said nothing to them. They go to check the next bottle and then you just see them kind of like both look back at, at, at the door where you were and look back away. Like, uh. <laughs> Nods, not another word. Out. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Don't trust those two not to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, where to next, guys? Or are we going to Ildak the Alchemist? I think Ildak is the next step, right? Yep. We found the wine source. Now we need to find the poison source. All right. Do you, should we go pick up uh, Anyanwu, or do you think he's like, you, you think he's good? What, what should we do? I mean, uh, Daisy, do you want to wanna talk to him? Or <laughs> you know um, the guy. Yeah, I'm going to send him a message. Uh... Ask if he wants to meet us at the Alchemist. Oh, if he might need anything for his tinkering. I don't want to feel, have him feel like he's left out. Sure. 
Uh, if if I get that message, uh, yeah, I'll message back and be like, um, yeah, just uh, finishing up things here. Um, I'll meet you out front. And uh, can I ask a couple questions to the folks in the room? Yeah, I was actually about to say, uh, as that happens, what do you want to learn from your side of things? Perfect, perfect. Uh, I have a question for DM. What was the what was the name of the person that starts with an S? It was like Celeria. Is that a name? Uh, Celeria is the the name for generally speaking the land where the the elves oh. are. Okay, I I couldn't remember if there was someone in the room named that. Uh, I know we have there Gideon, is in Cavaxian, Craven. <laughs> Seraphine. Seraphine. Yeah, Seraphine. Yeah, there, there we go. There we go. There we go. That's what Excellent. it was. Which, which person is Seraphine again? Seraphine is the one that you all initially met as uh, Koskovich. Koskovich. Okay, that's why it wasn't ringing a bell. I was like, where did that person yes. come from? Yep. Uh, you initially met her as Koskovich. When you arrived at the Siren Song, she revealed herself to be Seraphine Valhart. Uh, the negotiations and international relations head. Got you. Got you. Got you. Um, so, yeah, as I, I think I'm just kind of like helping um, them recuperate, trying to um, honestly just kind of like get that small talk going. Um, so, uh, yeah, this uh, is quite a quite a mess. I had a mess, huh? What? Pretty, pretty. This hat. That it often? is. Uh, no, no, uh, no. This sort of thing has never happened. Uh, no. Yeah, that's. Well, uh, do do, <coughs> do any? Oh, this looks like. Oh, there's so much, so much vomit on the floor. Uh, do you, can, hey, do you guys have any uh, like handkerchiefs or anything to help me clean this up? I, the uh, Seraphine kind of looks around. Uh, Craven says, "Don't look at me. <laughs> I've got nothing." Cavaxian, uh, uh, Cavaxian's um, <coughs> head hurts a little bit as, as the the uh, force of his vomit. Um, got a little mixed up with some of his dragon's breath and the 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 force that it that he you know it uh uh excreted that out of his face uh just his his head is hurting um thalrex uh is a little bit like he's got a handkerchief but he's holding it over his face uh and he is not ready to part with it as he seems to have a wave of nausea himself. Uh, uh, and Gideon. Yeah. Gideon, Gideon would help clean up. Yeah. Um, can I, while, while I ask this, can I go around, um, to each of them and, uh, investigate to see if they maybe have a cloth on them with a little bit of fiber missing? Ah, I see. Okay. <coughs> I will say none of them do. All right. All that was right. a great thought, but no, none of these guys Check do. Check that off the list. I don't know if we have a trader on our hands or not. Yeah. Interesting. Um, well then, yeah. Okay. I, I, I get that. I get that done. And I'm, I guess I, <laughs> Anwu realizes halfway through that his, like, he was like, all right, none of them are traitors, but I did set this up so that I have to clean up vomit. <laughs> So then he is like, oh, sh okay, great, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> he does go to clean up the vomit. Um, One of them I'm actually going... knows how to do mess digitation. <coughs> yeah, I, usually, yeah. I, I forget. <laughs> they just let you clean it. <laughs> I forget. I'm like, oh, no. that didn't work. I just, I I just imagine that it would be really difficult to clean up vomit when your paws are fluffy. Also, I'm still in the iron suit, so <laughs> I'm yeah. with iron. I I rarely will leave my iron suit. Just uncomfortable scraping noises, <laughs> <laughs> but it's somewhat it's the sloshy. awkward silence <laughs> only by like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
just a bunch of people not talking to each other. It's like whenever you hear nails on a chalkboard, just worse. <sighs> nails on a chalkboard covered in vomit. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I'm not sure here. Um, yeah, that, that, that was my big play. I don't think. Okay. I don't know if he would ask anything else. So yeah, he's just going to awkwardly clean up the vomit, kind of like yeah. put it on a barrel. Be like, all right, well, um, I'm I'm going to get to the bottom of this. So you guys just just stay stay put. Actually, yeah, stay put and uh definitely don't go anywhere. I I'm not in the position to tell you what to do. I, I'm sorry. You're, you're the authority figure here. Listen, I, I'm sorry. Listen, I'm we, we, we have other matters to attend to. You all get back to us when you can. We will probably still be here. Our meetings go long. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. And I run upstairs. <laughs> That's a true politician. They almost died and they're like, eh, screw it. Let's just keep doing meetings. We got that way. Yeah. We, got we can get through all of our plot points. Right. I mean, like, <laughs> they, got, they got stuff to do. They're, they're starting a nation. Like, they don't – you almost die, you get over it. This could have been an email. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Sending a poisonous um, email. That's great. All yeah, right. So from. you all are able to reconvene. Uh, and you begin making your way toward Ildak the Alchemist. Uh, he, unlike several others, uh, does operate nocturnally. He would be opening shop at the moment. Uh, you are able to, with, with some guidance from the others before you left, you, you're able to find your way to him, sort of in this back alley, uh, there's, um, there's a, 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 like a, like a wooden pallet behind which, like it has, it has a, a marking, uh, it looks like graffiti almost. You'd miss it if you weren't looking for it. The, behind the wooden pallet with graffiti, you move it aside, there is a secret door. The secret door has a secret knock. Three knocks, wait, two knocks, wait. Two knocks. Uh, <clears throat> the door swings open. Welcome to Ildax Alchemy. Uh, what can I do you for? And you all see uh, somebody that looks slightly like Scorn, but with a, a little bit more, a little bit more green hue to the skin. I'm a ghoul. Hey, how you doing? So, uh, we we just got <coughs> back from a meeting, and we were just wondering, you know, if you could give us a little bit of information. And I also, while I'm here, I'd like to peruse your wares. You no, know, just coin yes. exchanging. Uh, yes, absolutely. I am here for the exchange of goods and coin. Mm. Now, as for information. That might cost a little bit extra. I mean, I'm willing to not take a bargain on some items, if you know what I mean. Very well. Okay, okay. What well, information do you seek? Well, I just want to know... Well, hang on. Before I get to that, uh, one of the things I'm... I, I, I'm, I'm business savvy, and I got to know right off the bat. Um... What kind? Of, I need to. We're going out on a mission, and I need a couple of things. I see that you you got some items. I want to know what kind of potions you got, and uh, I need to add to my arsenal for my little crossbow. I need to add some more poisons. So, what kind of poisons you got in your shop? You got any like that drow poison that makes them sleep? You got any that uh, is like a whole slew of them. I just want to know what what kind of <coughs> kind of stuff you have at your shop to purchase. <coughs> so, okay. Uh, so the way that I typically run shops is more or less, if there's an item, <laughs> a magic item, a potion, something that you would like, uh, you will roll a D100, uh, and based on its rarity, there is a, a slightly decreasing chance that they would have it, um, based on, like I said, based on item rarity. So 
purpose of me asking it is to see if he admits that he has purple worm poison. Roll a d100. That's fair. Oh no, that fell. I can I just say I love rolling uh rolling a d100 and I've never been in a campaign that has used it more than we already have in the first two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I do like d100s. They're, okay, they're great. Right. I okay, they're how, how does it work? I rolled a <laughs> I rolled a 90 and a 10. So that make it a hundred. Oh, you rolled. Okay, so you rolled two. Nice. Yeah, you you rolled two of the. You rolled two of the. Oof. Um, you said roll. But, you said roll d one hundred. <laughs> so I rolled it. Yes. D ten with the the two digits, and then a one d ten with the single digits. And you got a ten. Okay. On the D10. Uh, oh, on the d ten you got a ten. Yeah. Then that counts as a zero. Okay, so it's a ninety. Right. Yeah. All right, so uh, with a 90, uh, that's, that's pretty high. Well, I don't know if high means I good have, or not. That's true. I have seen some come through, but uh, not in quite some time. Eh, that's a shame. That's always a good one to have on you. Uh, um, that it is. Well, that's it. Uh, hey, hey, Daisy. You got any questions for this guy? You're the smooth talker. I am a pretty smooth talker, um, but this is not my area of expertise. Uh, I I know how to do the wiggle your hands and sing a song magic. This stuff is a little more sciency, a little more uh, outside of my forte. Well, all right. Is he a is he bad? I could I could hit him a few times. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nobody is he said a, anything is he about a hobby, hobby? Listen, listen, that was just a question, all right? I would like just honest question. If you were in my line of work, you'd have asked it too. <laughs> I was just trying to sell some stuff. He's not guilty of anything currently. So the information you were looking for. Well, I was trying to figure out if um anyone in the area had purchased any of that poison because not only do i want it for personal use but someone had already used it for an assassination attempt perhaps you have a sample of what was used i got a little bit it was mixed in with some wine but i can't offer too much might i have a look Sure thing. And I take out a little uh, flask vial that I had where I pulled the th poured the three doses in. So I'm not going to give you the whole thing, but if you got a little saucer, I could pour some in for you for some testing. I got to make sure I don't waste any. Uh, and he, he <clears throat> goes back behind his own counter. Um, and at this point, you guys kind of notice this is a, there, there is a menagerie of weird in this shop. Uh, eyeballs weird roots claws hanging down out of the ceiling um uh weird scaly things in jars uh and he he brings out a uh saucer kind of weary <laughs> and uh and holds it out all right here we go and i put on like you know like 10 drops of it it's uh it's mixed with some red wine so it might be diluted a little bit but the effect is still very potent the guy barely drank any and he got hit pretty hard he kind of he touches his finger to it and then he uh he he takes a kind of one of those like um uh, droppers he pulls out just a little bit of it and drops it in a, a, a sort of alembic setup. Uh, and after a couple of seconds, uh, maybe almost almost a minute, two minutes, he... Yes, the signature is unmistakable. <coughs> I've seen this before. Uh, 
not uh, only purple worm toxin. This is uh, mingled with another. Uh, I've uh, I've not been able to identify the other component, as it is always uh, combined at a, a a level far too small for an alembic to uh, discern. Now, can but you I've tell me? Can you tell me if this is only dangerous if ingested, or if it gets into the bloodstream? in general as it stands the dilution with the wine uh, this is only uh, this is only dangerous when ingested okay. if used on weapons uh, the the content of poison is not strong enough to damage from a blade hmm. good to know good to know <coughs> that is part of what seems to add to this. Uh, there is a group of late, only arriving within the past year, year and a half. They, they do the same thing. Uh, at first, it seemed to be only low risk victims. Uh, who was this victim? Uh, high end. I can't go into detail for it. That is what I thought. Political. Unfortunately, yes. Yes. Unfortunately, no one knows anything about this group. They do not know their name. They do not know their uh, identifications. But I can say for certain they typically operate within the mooring. That is the mooring. M-O-O-R-I-N-G. The mooring. Another aptly named ship place? Mm. <coughs> mooring as in... Boring. The places where all things come to rest. Not only ships... But those relegated to baser dwellings. I once found myself there as well. Would you happen to have a recollection of the direction and where that was? Yeah, he, he would point you just south of the docks. Uh, it's a slum, a very large and growing slum with the influx of refugees in this city, uh, as well as the uh, general mistrust and unaccepting nature of most in these, in, in, in really ethos in general, um, many have been relegated to the mooring, the slums that are a, a euphemism, a, an icon, a, a uh, the nomenclature for where all the things finally rest. Okay, so you've been there. Good to know. Now, say we wanted to continue our investigation and go there ourselves. What um, information can you <coughs> give us that would uh, keep us alive a little longer than you know the front door? It's a challenge and password kind of thing. If you are approached, don't let anyone get close enough to you to approach. That's always fair. If you are held up, pay the price. Not worth getting involved in a fight. What do you guys think? Any information you want to ask? Uh, no, I thought this was your expertise from the beginning, so like I, I don't really... I can only gather so much information myself with what we got going on here. <coughs> I was say, we're, just on a, we're just on a wild goose chase until we figure yeah. out where it is. So, just going to 
look around his shop a little bit and just mm-hmm. like look look at him he's like you know it, as the cauldron boils the wicked toil that's the kind of shit that happens he gives you a look that kind of says it's it's a knowing look we'll just mm. put it that way I walk that up to him to shake. True. Mm-hmm. I walk up to him to shake his hand, and as I'm holding his hand, I put three lot. I just like mark the back of his hand with three lines, but just rubbing it there, just with some ash. Huh. He returns the gesture, and I hand over some gold coins. Now, anyway, what do you, anything you recommend for? Uh, you know, weary traveler that might be like trying to, you know, save his ass and kill someone while he's at it. <coughs> um, he leaves. He he rummages through a um a crate that he has off to the side. Something that isn't apparent from the from the first view. When you get into the 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 store, he he pulls out a vial that he pulls out a vial of dense purple liquid that has a, an ovoid <clears throat> cloud of pink floating in it. Interesting. What does that do? This, my friend, will allow you to peer into the mind of those around you. Perhaps you will find better luck in inquiring without having to use your own words. I greatly appreciate that. How many uh, doses are we looking at with that vial? <coughs> I might have a lot of questions, so I want to know. Unfortunately, this is only one. It is all I can part with at the moment. But will last you a considerable time. Okay. And how much of a donation would you appreciate for said item? Nothing more than what you have already offered me. I Go in really peace, offer. friend. Okay. Well, gonna... you, gave, you gave him a couple of coins and you did the thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna push an extra fifty coins to him. He's like, "Don't worry, <coughs> I got you." Can I? Can, can I? <laughs> what is going on here? I feel, I feel like Anmu was tinkering in the corner, and then he was like, "Wait, why are we still here?" And it was just seeing like two alchemists be like, "A wink, wink." <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> No, hey, no, hey, don't don't worry yourself too much, kid. It's a goblin thing. Yeah. And he, oh, as, we, you, we. <laughs> as you all prepare to go, he says, may you drink long from the river of night. And may the night satiate my thirst. Oh, wink, we. <laughs> I don't know what anybody uh, that means, but it was super cool. <laughs> And I'm just going to use that again out of Todd text at some point, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, no, don't worry. Hey, just relax. We're in the same book club. That's all it is. Oh, nice, nice. You can read? <laughs> oh, no. I, I look at this and I'm like... He could, yes. poison, he could poison the food you eat without you knowing. <laughs> Daisy, you want some wine? <laughs> like, don't do it. You thirsty? <laughs> you have wine back there? 
Wow. Ingested, correct? Ingested? Okay. Make you some nice red sauce with your spaghetti. Oh my gosh. And a burn. Wow. Away. Okay. So, okay. Uh, are you all, I assume, making your way then to the mooring? Uh, to the yep. mooring. Oh so man. What time is it, bro? To the mooring. It is late. Yeah, because I, I mean, was going to say we met in the evening. <laughs> is it <laughs> late, late, or is it early? Let, okay. Oh, it would be early by this point. Okay. Hey. Here, wait. Okay. So here. Okay. Hold on. Um. Uh, Anwu pipes up. Um. I'm. I'm down to. Uh. To go. Um. To the mooring. Um. It's just I still kind of feel like garbage from being poisoned very badly. Mm. I don't know if I can really. If things get scrappy, I. I can't. I'm I'm down for the count. Huh. Weird. All right. Uh cure wounds. So like <laughs> What what was that? I say Huh, weird. All right. Cure wounds. <laughs> Boom. That's max, which is a no, is that 10 or 12? Hang on. I just want to make sure. Did I get you the rat juice? Give me the juice. Give me the juice. Right, it's uh, that'd be 10. 10 points back. 10. Yeah. All right, all right. There we go. I am now at half my HP. All right, cool. That'll give you an extra hour to just go do some shenanigans. Let's figure this out, right? <laughs> I'll just go shop around the more. Don't worry about me, guys. <laughs> As you approach the south side of the docks you go from uh what you know and understand <clears throat> as as nelter harbor um even at night there are people milling about there are a couple of taverns that are still uh bustling and energetic um though most of the city has gone to bed th this place is still uh, accepting ships. This place is still uh, a a bit of activity in the silence of night. As you make your way south, you see almost the opposite. You see no one about. The air though so close to the sea it should be briny it should be salt it should be crisp but the air is filled with a putrid aroma a a smell of waste is that iron blood No one is about. All lights, all lamps are turned out as you walk into this place. What are you looking for? What are, what, are, what is the plan? The lights? As you enter the mooring. What was that, Daisy? We're looking for the lights? <laughs> well... Fair enough. <laughs> Where are the lights uh, on? Um, okay, so well, our our plan is um, Ildak gave us information to find this. Find what again? This, what? The secret society that is that poisons people. The, the unnamed society that is trying to do some shady things. I, at first, I thought he was basically describing the wraiths, but apparently they don't have a symbol or a name. They got, so nothing. Think, they got nothing now. I mean, they yeah. could just—they could just be a tool, but eh, whatever. Um, yeah, we got to do more. Uh, is there? Am I able to find anybody? There's no one around. Like at all? Give me a perception check. I'll do my best. May I as well? Absolutely. 
And me. And me. Absolutely. Give me a group perception check. Let's Whoa. see what we find. I got a twelve. I got a three. Plus three, so six. Oh, yeah, plus, yeah, six. Plus I'm, six. I, plus I'm human. I I can't see in the dark. 14. That's true, and there are no lights. This is this is total darkness. I mean, I, I gotta find can... someone blocked into a building. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, got, um, I got me a third. a torch, or are you just trying to like you know grab onto somebody? Oh, uh, I, I can light the way. When when I was tinkering in the corner of of our meeting, <laughs> uh, I was using uh, magical tinkering, and I I created a little lamp that it, it sheds a little bit of brightness. Um, I say I can make one for for each of you. It just it just gives you five feet of light. Is it okay. something I can hang off my belt loop? Yeah, uh, it's just a. Uh, I say I think I imbued it to just be like a little orb or like a washer. <laughs> So you can like hang it on like a piece of string and like wear it as a little necklace and just gives you a little light around you. All right, we'll Yay. be done. Now you all have a piece of the firmament. Look, so cute. Yay. Oh We're like God. all friends. Oh my like goodness, all- did, do we all have all matching friends. necklaces now? <laughs> I just do all bracelets. bracelets. <laughs> what were the rest of those perception checks? Uh, I got a 13. I think mine was just a 14. Okay. 19. All right. Scorn and Inaka. You two. See. Really, really, you, you hear something in an alleyway. You're not sure what it is. It's shuffling. Shuffling. Uh, and then, almost immediately, you all see eight, ten, you're not quite sure, figures from either side of the street make their way out. Uh, shadows from where from where you're standing. Why did we do this? Well, well, well. Why do we do this? What do we have here? Oh, can they please be like snapping as they walk up to us? <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay. Or whistling. Uh, whistling works too. Yeah, Equally yeah. Creepy. The West Side Story, like... Um, Warriors! <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, so... As this happens, I think we're going to call it for tonight. What? Hold on. Wait. But I got to pull it up. (laughs) And we we will pick this up uh, in two weeks. Um, No. No. When you put it like that, it makes it even worse. (laughs) I know. (laughs) I know. Guys, thank you so much, everyone who tuned in, and everyone who will tune in. Um, and thank you for for joining us on this uh, journey that we're taking, um, both in and out of game. Uh, if they enjoyed playing catch, that oh my! <laughs> I... Chat, chat, I loved you guys. By the way, wow, bro. <laughs> Can I, can I just say, like, everything that's come up in the chat? I, that's I, wild. I'm, Y'all are going crazy. I've just been <laughs> trying not to, like, break in the middle of everything. <laughs> uh, that said, <laughs> thank you guys so much. We love you all. We're going to get off here. We're going to do, like, our aftercare. We're going to do our, our safety tools. We're going to utilize all that. Um, again, like all of you should be doing, if you're not, start. Yeah, do your aftercare. Uh, that said... Um, again, we love you all. Till next time, keep looking for legends. Bye. I did a diamond.